Good morning, good morning, good morning. Howdy, everybody. Jim Weller here, and you are watching and listening to a show called Weller Does Delmarva. Frank, good morning. And um, so anyway, we're here. We got all kinds of things going on. And where is here? People say, where is here? You presume I know where here is. So if you're watching for the first time, thank you for tuning in. We're going to be here for two hours till nine o'clock this morning. It is a live weekly, weekly show. And we do it. We're broadcasting live. We have a studio audience right here in Beach's Restaurant in Milton, Delaware. They have a beautiful, wonderful breakfast menu. So you could literally come down and have a cup of coffee or have breakfast or n have nothing and just sit here and watch the show. We will entertain you. So we have a lot of different guests. We have uh, phone calls, contests, giveaways. We do all kinds of stuff, and we have a good time doing it, and you're invited. So uh, are you ready for the picture, young lady? This is Linda's picture taking. And Linda, you did a good job last week with taking pictures throughout, and it was wonderful. So my first guest is Colin Walls. Good morning. Del Marva, Wall Service yep. Center. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm wonderful. And uh, we're here. We're set up. And uh, another good Saturday morning, huh? Yeah, I think it's going to be a great day. It's beautiful outside. What's happening with the weather, Hunter? Are we going to get any rain or any anything rain? today? There might be small showers, but it's going to be Small showers. Get a lot warmer. Warmer. Good I take small said, showers. Yes. I'm a short guy. So. Small showers. Right? Small showers. <laughs> so it takes anyway. longer for you to realize it's raining than it is. It does. Right. Yeah. Right. Because it hits you first. That's right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what are we talking about? Wall Service Center, TV Delmarva. Talking Del about Marva. TV Delmarva. So, if you have that camera is crooked, I tried to fix that. Is it camera. really? Yeah. I guess I didn't fix it. All right. I feel Man. like I'm on a cruise ship. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. I thought I had it set. Wow. Well, well, that's okay, I folks. Didn't. This is live. It this is, is live. live. Yes. We set up first thing this morning, and uh, you were sharing some feedback with me. How yes. how TV Del Marva's got customers that not customers, but viewers. Part of their viewers. Yep. That you know are interactive, and you kind of think it's neat how you're a, an owner of a TV station, mm -hmm. and people can literally share with you something they think, see, say. Or notice and, and yeah. You so if they notice something, it. you know, like uh, one of the uh, audio was off on one of our right. shows or, or uh, movies that was playing, and a viewer sent us a message to say, "Hey, you know, this is off." I think it's so just cool. kind of want to make you aware of it, and right. you know, let's see if we can get it fixed. And yeah, right. and, and you're and you're like, "What can I do?" And exactly, and, and you're looking yes. into it, and it's. <clears throat> I think that's so cool how this TV TV station started from a grassroots movement. Yep. So here we are a couple years later, you know, um, we've got this audience that keeps growing every week and uh, definitely talks to us and tells us things. And I run across it all the time. People out yeah. on the street just saying, I love the station. I love the, the you know, it's, the reporting. I love the weather. I love the shows. I love it all. Yeah. And, and we're interactive with you, too. You know, we're going to let you we're going to talk back to you. You know, if you right. send us a message, we're going to send you a message back and right. you know, just say, hey, thank you for watching. From and the station, we appreciate owner. the feedback on it, you know, and sometimes it's positive. Sometimes it's. You know, uh, not a complaint, but it's just a, right. a hey, I noticed this observation. Exactly. Yep. Yes. And, yep. and you'll deal with what you can, and some of it's beyond your control. Exactly. Yep. So, so uh, TV but yeah, Del Marva. TV Del Marva is doing good. We're growing. Uh, we, you know, we've got more and more viewers every week. And um, if you want to know how to get TV Del Marva, the best way is over the air. So if you over have an antenna, air. point your antenna towards Seaford, rescan, rescan, look for channel 14. You're going to see five channels, come, four channels come up there. Sorry, okay. five channels. Five. Five. Yes. All right. Five. And then soon to be six, we're hoping. Soon to be six. Mm -hmm. The retro TV is going good. Retro TV is going good. Fourteen point three is retro TV. Um, uh, that sh that channel was on Delmarva for many years, uh, and then it went away. And uh, we actually brought it back to Delmarva. Brought it back. So, yeah. Yep. We're okay. happy to bring it's it like back a and uh, comeback tour. Exactly. And there's a billboard in Ellendale that tells you about it. How to That's do true. It. Yeah. You watch. Yep. Yep. So. That billboard is pretty bright. You can read it from the stoplight sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I'm yep. kind of like, this is really kind of cool. Mm -hmm, it is. All right, so if somebody wanted to talk to you or chat about advertising. Advertising, I, yeah. I shared with Jerry Santoro. I saw his ad, and I said, Jerry, I really like it. He said, you won't believe it. He said, I'm starting to get some response from it. I, yeah. You know, and I said, well, that's good. I said, that's what we hope. Nothing's guaranteed. And but. and so, there's speaking of that, we, we ran two different commercials for him. Mm -hmm. One is just kind of a, hey, I'm Jerry, you know, I'm right. just a guy next door type of thing. Right. But then we ran this other one that says, was... Call Jerry. Right, that is a call to action. It's, right. It says, hey, pick up your phone right now and give Jerry a call. Yep. Uh, and the other is, you know, so we we can do different things like that. And this this is... What, and you're you very know, flexible. 
Very in flexible. In other words, you're yes. very flexible. Yep. In yep. other words, you know. So if you have an idea and, you know, because a lot of the people you're talking to maybe have never advertised on TV at all. Right. Or or at right. all, period. Advertising yeah. Uh, yeah, at all, at so, all yeah. period. Yeah. Yeah. So, so so we can definitely help you with that. Jim, I'm going to let you go if that's okay. okay. You I'll let be me back go. in a bit. All right. Thank I'm you, Colin. Fix that camera. Colin Walls, TV Del Marva. I see Kiki is here today. And uh, good morning. So we're all here, actually. So good morning to my radio audience. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And you're listening to a live show. We are live. We are sitting in Milton, Delaware, at a restaurant called Beaches Restaurant. They got a wonderful, wonderful breakfast menu. I have already partaked of breakfast. I had some bacon, and I had some, uh, what did I have? Pancakes. Whew pancakes and uh, it was really really good they're called classic breakfast for six bucks now you can get two pancakes or two french toast whichever you prefer and uh, you get a choice of meat for only six dollars and uh, it's a nice restaurant um, they do have seafood after eleven thirty. you can order lunch and then you can order dinner in the evening um, but it's a really nice restaurant if you've never been to beaches restaurant i encourage you to put it on your on your planner they're closed on tuesdays but other than that um thursday is burger Burger Day, Burger Night, uh, ten dollars for a burger, and uh, you can get one topped with the uh, crab, the crab dip if you want, and different things. So anyway, ten bucks, and that includes the roll, and I think it includes one side. So it's a pretty good deal. All right, now we're going to start the show. We have a collage to run. So here is the collage for this week's show. Ready? Roll it. How you doing? This week on Weller Does Del Marva. Tom Bull talks about the Greenwood Mennonite School Dirt Dash. Chuck Creighton of Weller's Utility Trailers chats trailer inventory. Glenn Watson from the Patriots for Delaware group joins us. U.S. House candidate Lee Murphy stops in for an update. TV to Marvis Colin Walls of Wall Service Center checks in. We are live from the Beaches Seafood Restaurant in Milton, Delaware. And now, here's your host, Jim Weller. Good morning, everybody. And uh, so we have a lot going on. I have a surprise guest that's going to be on. Um, it's a lady that we're going to just pull out of the audience and chit chat with her in a little while. So it's a busy morning. I have some more gift cards for free gasoline at Wawa. And I want to thank uh, the owner, you know, uh, Don Allen, uh, owner operator of Beaches uh, Restaurant here in uh, Milton. He brought me five more gift cards, $25 each, that we're going to give away during the show. During the show, uh, we'll say that we're going to give one away, and then you call and you win it, and you pick it up at Weller's. So we'll do that later on during the show. I'm going to give you the phone number now so you can write it down because once I say it's time to call, you need to know the number. It's 302 422 Seven three three six. Don't call me now. I'm not ready yet. But four two two seven three three six. Have it ready, because when we say we only going to take one call, we only take the one call. So be ready. Be ready. All right. Let's brag on one of my uh, sponsors for just a moment. My accountant, George Luff. Uh, I talked to George, and he says, "Man, he says, uh, you know, they get comments about you know how I talk about their business. He's my accountant. So George Luff owns and operates Luff." you know, Luff CPAs and uh, Luff and Associates in Milford and Dover and Rehoboth. His son Tyler works with him now, and uh, it's quite a good organization. I've dealt with them for at least 25 years, okay? Been very happy. They do my personal accounting. Uh, they do my business. I have another business called JKJ Properties. They do that, too. They take care of all my bookkeeping. Uh, we went through a big IRS audit years ago, and we came out not owing a penny. Kind of made me feel good that we're doing things right. So I just want to let you know, if you need somebody to help you with your accounting work, whether you're a business or whether you're just an individual filing your own personal tax returns, I have a lot of friends now that used to do their own tax returns, and life's got a little more complicated and all these changes, and can I or can I deduct this, or why can't I deduct it, and so on. So uh, they do personal tax returns too. So if you need help in any way, shape, or form, you filed an extension, you forgot to file an extension, whatever it is, you give Luff and Associates a call. They're very friendly, very personable, know what they're doing. I'm very happy with them and have been for years and years. So George Luff is his name, and on top of that, he does payroll, meaning 
easy payroll. So uh, there's nothing easy about payroll, but he makes it easier. If you own a business, you're doing your own payroll, you're tired of fooling with it, you want to just let them take it over. That's what we did. I can remember my daughter, Jenny. I tell this story all the time. We would go on vacation and she brought this great big printer with her. She would have to print everything and then she would drop it in the mail while we're on vacation and do payroll. Now she doesn't have to worry about it. George Luff and his team through Easy Payroll take care of it. So give him a call, 302 422 9699. That's 422 9699. Luff, L U F F, LuffCPAs.com on the web. All right, Tom has joined me. This is Tom Bull. And, um, how you doing today? Great. This is a great new location. I love it. Have you been here yet for food? I have not been, okay. but uh, Milton is always near and dear. This yep. is where I used to work before GMS. Really? In Milton, yeah. No kidding. Well, they have breakfast here on Saturdays and Sundays. Yep. And then, you know, uh, starting at about 1130, you can get, you know, lunch and go, go and, from there. And kudos to you. You remembered what you ate when most people ask me, what did I eat yesterday? I oh. can't. Well, I, I had it just this morning, <laughs> so anyway, but um, it is hard for me to remember. Now, we got a big event coming up. Uh, big event. Next Saturday, June 4th, is that correct? Absolutely. June 4th, Saturday, the Spring Festival, and I'm here today <clears throat> to talk a little bit about the event that happens right before the Spring Festival, the Delmarva Dirt Dash. Have you personally ever done the Dirt Dash? <laughs> this is my second year with the community, and so I haven't had the opportunity to okay. run it yet. But uh, my, my ninth grade homeroom, they're all doing the Dirt Dash, so maybe I might just tag along with them. All right. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Absolutely. And it's a memorable a, moment. It's a, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to uh, test your stamina and your resiliency, mm -hmm. but it's still all in good fun. Uh, no military boot camp. Uh, right. Just uh, it's a it's a great 5K, which is 3.2 miles. Okay. And uh, it goes through the uh, the backwoods of Greenwood, and it has uh, 18 different and unique obstacles along the way. Some is like a wall you climb up and climb over. Yep, and some uh, are uh, going. One is called uh, the lily pads, which is where. Um, we have a creek where you hop along each lily pad to cross it. Really? Uh, we've got uh, some heavy-duty monkey bars. We've got um, a dirt slide. Uh, so, yeah, it's just in, a, it's a lot of unique stuff. In one monkey bar, just a rope with a knot on the end of it? No, uh, monkey bars is a series of bars that you would go across. Well, didn't I see a picture of something with a rope where they're holding onto this rope? Yeah, there's one part where you climb up the rope, you ring the bell, and then you come back down. Okay, okay. Yeah. And did I see another picture of where they're coming out of, like, a tunnel full of muddy water? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they go through the tunnel. Um, they go down through the tunnel. I don't know what that's called. Uh, a civil engineer would know what it's called. It's the tunnel of mud. It is the tunnel so, of mud, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. So, anyway... Um, this is next Saturday, and people sign up online. Do they sign up in person? How do they get involved? That's a good question. So um, if you go to our Facebook page, Delmarva Dirt Dash, or you just Google Delmarva Dirt Dash, the first link that's going to come up is uh, uh, runsignup.com, and okay. you can sign up right there. Um, and we do still allow same day registration on the day. If you oh, just day up. if you okay. wake up and you just have that feeling in your heart, then come on down. We'll still take you. So okay, absolutely. Yeah. And um, so this is at the Greenwood Mennonite School on Mennonite School Road. That's right. It yep. starts and ends right there. Well, it, it starts right at where the road is, and then you'll go through the backwoods, and then you'll kind of loop back around on the backside of the school. And so the cool part is, is that you finish right into the Spring Festival. Like, because when you're finished, you walk through this thing that rinses you off? Yeah. So like the, a car wash? The, the, very, <laughs> the very last obstacle is uh, you jump over the pit of fire, okay. you cross the finish line, you get a medal, everyone gets a medal. And uh, and then the uh, Greenwood Fire Department will hose you down if you'd like to be <laughs> hosed down. And uh, and we have changing stations right there at the finish line, so you can change and get a drink, get um, get something to eat. Uh, you know the uh, the festival is going to oh, do yeah. a live auction, live yeah. music. Got a bunch of stuff for the kids. Yep. And uh, we've got the uh, the yard sale, which is always my favorite part. Yeah. 
Yeah. And um, they, I, I don't know if it's called a white elephant table or not. Yeah, that's what they call it. I thought. And, I forgot what it was called. I just kept yeah. calling it the yard sale. Yep. So I like the auction. Um, I help out with that a little bit. Absolutely. And, um, that starts at noon. Um, it's kind of feisty. Uh, they have these really good homemade donuts. In yes. Other words, um, I remember that. The family um, makes them. And, and and then they have a breakfast. I forgot what, what time the breakfast was. Oh, is, it, is it the pancake breakfast inside of no, the school? No, it's, it's going to be a sandwich. Breakfast and coffee booths open at eight. In oh, other words, so they're changing uh, it so up. it's not a sit down breakfast. In other words, this is uh, this is really good because like the people that work for me, they can grab it grab and, go, and go. In other words, so um, but the donuts are really good too. They are I very think they're good. Have I have scrapple and egg sandwiches and bacon or a ham egg, egg and cheese sandwiches. I don't know what they're having, but they're having sandwiches <laughs> that you can take and go. So uh, that's how it all starts about eight o'clock with that. And then I think the festival opens up, and then at noon, because they got music, in other words, things mm-hmm. like that. So it's a lot of things. There'll be an ad in the center of the guide coming out on Wednesday, so uh, everybody can see what's going on and know what's going on. It's a good event. Free, Absolutely. Free parking, free fresh air, yeah. no admission to get in. Um, there's, I think, a petting zoo. There's going to be two big water slides. Oh, yeah. They've got some really cool stuff for the kids. Oh, I actually think you're going down the one water slide for them first. Sure. You're one of the first people, I think. I'll, I'll so do anyway, it. Okay. All right. So what is your position at the school? My my position is athletic director. Athletic director. Yes. Okay. And teacher. Right. And, and teacher. teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, and you've been there a couple of years now. Been there a couple of years. Have been having a great time. A lot of success with the students and the athletics. And, um, yeah, it's a um, great place to be and happy that my children are there as well. Yeah. Uh-huh. And um, how many kids do you have? Two boys. Two boys. Okay. Two boys. All right. Well, is there anything else I need to know or you need to tell us? I think we covered it all, Jim. Looking all right. forward to seeing you and looking I'll forward to there. anyone who uh, uh, is feeling uh, a little feisty on the morning of to come join us for the, the Dirt, dirt dash. dash. Yeah. It's a good thing. What do you have? A hundred people do it? Right now, we're hovering about a hundred people, you know? Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Absolutely. All Absolutely. Right. It's a lot of fun, and it's a memorable thing. You talked about, you know, a class is doing it. Or most of the classmates are doing it. and so Right. You what, can... a, what a group picture. You know what I mean? Something for later in life. Exactly. You know, exactly. You know. You're going to love that picture when you come to the 10 or 20-year reunion. You're right. like, yeah, we did that. I remember that. Yeah. yeah I could barely, barely do anything now, but <laughs> you know, I crawled through that tunnel of mud. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Tom. Okay? Thank Have you, a good weekend. Absolutely. Be safe out there. Yep. All right, there he goes. Denny Carroll has arrived. Good morning. You got a permit to be here? All right, well, thank you. All right, so anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, Denny, if you have a minute, I'd like to say hi to you on air. It's up to you. No? Okay. All right. All right, no problem. He's not even supposed to be here is what he's saying. I hope his employer doesn't get upset. So with that said, Dawn Kennedy, you hear me talk about her every week. Is Linda close by? I see Guada's here. Where's Linda at? You want to brag on your cleaning lady? Oh, here we go. So this is a sponsor segment. We're going to have a word in reference to Dawn Kennedy. I'll be there cleaning and care. I'll be there cleaning and care. Oh, we're going to get a picture of me and Linda. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. It was a cute one, she said. All right, that was the, I was the cute part. All right, but anyway, uh, Dawn Kennedy, I'll be there cleaning and care. Where did you hear about this I'll be there clearing, cleaning and care? I heard it right here on Weller Does, Does Del Marva. Del Very good. Absolutely. And you responded. I did. I called her, and uh, she came out... Uh, very quickly gave me an estimate and then two weeks later they knock on my door on a Monday they came at quarter after one and they continued to clean until quarter after six really five straight hours they never stopped they were really? three uh, three women I, you know I can't explain how clean my house felt after they left really they cleaned corners and nooks and crannies I didn't even know I had it kind of just put you in a better mood. It really did. It really did. Right. And, you know, I was just amazed. They did my hardwood floors a certain way. They did my laminate floors differently. They did the carpet. Wow. Uh, and they took everything down on top of my mantle and on top of the cabinets in the kitchen. Really? Cleaned everything, put them all back the way they belong. Really? Took all my artificial flowers, cleaned those. 
Golly day. It was, and they were wonderful. They really were. And, and up to now, you thought Jim had been doing a good I job of I really did. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> but like I say, they found corners that oh. I didn't even know I had. Wow. Um, but it just kind of... You know, have you ever paid anybody to clean your house? I never have. We've paid to have somebody clean our children's homes when okay. they bought new houses. Okay, okay. But, but I've never had it done. We've been in the house 20 years. Wow. And uh, Are you going to do it again? Absolutely. I, I, have her, I have her come in every three to six months oh, now. Oh, here we go. I'll, so, do, uh, I'll do the surface stuff. She can do all the hidden stuff. Right. But isn't it nice, you know, when you hire somebody, they come out, they gave you an estimate. Um, did they do it for the price they said? Um, yep, she did. Okay, so she gave you an estimate. She she did it for what she said. She did more than you were thinking. More than I thought she would do. Right. And, and um, did you tell me your mom was with her too? Her mom and her daughter. Right. So it's like a family affair. In yes. other words, you know. And I and here's a great example. The mother taught the daughter, who taught the daughter. And they're all doing what they yeah. were taught as a generation, how to clean. Right. And they you know. just, they had their jobs. They separated. The daughter went in the bathrooms. The mom went upstairs. And Dawn went and did really? what she needed to do. Now, did they clean in your microwave or your stove? They or? wiped everything down. She has okay. specials periodically where she'll do either your stove or your refrigerator. She told me they'll take everything out of the refrigerator, clean your refrigerator, and put it back. I didn't have her do that. That okay. wasn't. But she also sometimes has specials for seniors, veterans. Okay. Well, you wouldn't qualify for the senior. I did qualify for the senior. <laughs> Every I'll, chance I'll let I get. You step right into that. Every one, chance so. I get. <laughs> All right. So yeah. you were very happy. I, mean, I highly, I, highly recommend them. I really do. I even put it out on a Facebook blast in our neighborhood to let oh, people that's a know. Good idea. Yeah, because we're all busy and we're just trying to buy time is all we're trying to do. Right. So here somebody came along, you had a certain expectation, and she went way beyond what you even expected. Way beyond, and the price was still the same as when what she, was she told me. Yes. Wow. So I have to get Dawn in here someday to get her side of the story of dealing with Linda. No, no I'm just kidding. You. I'm I just stayed kidding out you. of her way. <laughs> you stayed out of her <laughs> they way. They were like three little white tornadoes that wow. just came in and cleaned wow. that house. All right. So they did a great job. Well, I really recommend them. People. Okay, well, I'm going to yeah. give you a couple gift cards while you're up here because I know that you guys love Vanderwinds. I, I certainly do. Do both of you love Vanderwinds? Yes. Okay. So him and his milkshakes. Him and his milkshakes. And, and what me, do you get? I get different flavors. Try them all. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I don't blame you. Yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. All right. So, Dawn Kennedy, folks, all I'm telling you is if you need your house cleaned, your Airbnb, your condo, whatever you got, if you need something cleaned up, you give her a call. She doesn't do power washing, um, but she does you know, cleaning of things, even motorhomes and campers. It's Dawn Kennedy. I'll be there cleaning and care. What more can I say? Linda made it real clear. And uh, the phone number is 302-362-7064. 362-7064. I'll be there cleaning and care. And um, check them out on Facebook, too, if you would. Dawn, thank you for your support of the show. There are discounts for first responders, seniors, military. So um, keep that in mind. Make sure you tell her that. And tell her you heard about it at Weller Does Dale Marva. So for my audience that's tuned in, we're sitting here in Beach's uh, restaurant. And I see Breakfast Bob. I see Steve Grossman. I see Guada. I see um, Charlie and Betty. I see Chuck Creighton has arrived. And Jim and Linda Bosco and I, uh, Brad, how you doing, buddy? So anyway, I saw Frank earlier, and um, I believe Chris is here too. So we have quite an audience, and there's room for you. So if you want to get up and come on down to Beach's uh, Restaurant, there's a nice breakfast menu. You don't have to buy anything, but, you know, it's it's nice to buy breakfast and have breakfast. So the Clayton Theater, let's just talk real quick about the Clayton Theater. They uh, are a movie theater that's in Dagsboro. Been there 70 years. It's a really nice, quaint little theater. Uh, it has a balcony. That's kind of cool because not many theaters have balconies anymore. So if you want to go to the movie sometime, check them out at I Love the Clayton dot com i love the clayton theater dot com okay and um if you would just go ahead and um like their facebook page too and um if you want a couple tickets to the clayton theater let me know i'm going to give you a phone number right now that you can call and leave a message you have to tell me what the message is about so if you want two tickets two tickets to get in the clayton theater for free call this number right now and leave me a message it's 302 Seven five one five zero zero one three zero two seven five one five zero zero one. What's so funny? 
Oh, no, no, not re- not yet. Oh, you were scrambling. Don't worry. I'm, I'm giving the other number. So call that number and say, hey, I want two tickets to the Clayton. I'll set them aside for you at Wellers in Bridgeville, and you can pick them up next week, Tuesday through Saturday next week, all right? The Clayton Theater if you want two tickets. All right, it's that simple. All right, what else is going on? You hear a lot of um, people talking. The restaurant is full. In other words, um, not full. It's not full. There's plenty of room. There's plenty of room. So I'm not implying that we don't have any more room. So we like people to come in. We want them to have breakfast. We want them to have a cup of coffee. Watch the show. Check it out and see what you think. Um, Let's take a phone call real quick. Um, You know what? I don't have a notepad. I'm in big trouble. All right. Um, I don't know why I don't have a notepad. But anyway, I'm all right. So this is going to be for Wawa. So I'm giving away one. One $25 $25 gift card to Wawa. Don't be laughing. Anyway, one $25 gift card to Wawa. If you want one, call me right now, and I'll set one aside for you at Wellers in Bridgeville next week. 302-422-7336. Um, what was that? Compliments of Beaches. That's right. I, 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 thank you, Colin. This is Compliments of Beaches Restaurant. Um, They gave me these gift cards to give away. We're going to give away five of them during the show. But this is the first one right now. 422-7336. If you want a gift card to Wawa, we're giving them away right now, okay? Um, Should we take that call or pretend we didn't hear it? Caller, are you there? I'm here. And who am I talking to? Uh, This is Marty from Rehoboth Beach. Marty, how's Marty? Good, good. How are you doing this morning? Good. Could you use a gift card? I sure could. All right. And you've heard of Wawa before, probably? I have many times, many times. All right. All right. And are you watching on TV or listening on the radio? I'm listening on the radio at uh, Station 2, Rehoboth Beach Fire Department. Oh, well, thank you very much, and thank you to the fire department for their service. Are you uh, a, f- a member there, evidently? I am. All right. Yes. Well, Marty, we're going to make you go all the way to Wellers in Bridgeville to get this. And um, I won't have it there till next week. So Tuesday through Saturday, you can pick it up, okay? Very good. Thank you. And um, thanks for listening, okay? Very good. Do you need anything else for me to, to identify me or no? You're no, good. can you blow the siren or honk the horn or anything? Well, I can honk the horn. <laughs> That's All right, bad. thank you. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> That's, that way we'll know it's you, but uh, we're just going to be looking for Marty from Rehoboth, okay? Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. You just go to Weller's, All and they'll, right. they'll have it for you. All, All right, right thank thanks. You. Bye. All right, Bye. that was Marty from Rehoboth, and that was a horn honk, so it worked. <laughs> oh, gosh. So anyway. Um, that's a lot of fun. So I got one more giveaway real quick. Everybody that's watching on TV can see this. This is another item. This is another item. Okay. I got these this week and I want to see if I can give these away. All right. You can't get these just on every radio show. All right. Not every radio show gives these away. Look at this thing. It's a nice, you can't see it on the radio. So you got to try to envision it. It's a nice 23 inch fluffy pillow. On the tag, it's called plushy. It's a plushy pillow. If you want one of these, you haven't seen these on the radio before. These are rare. I've got 10 of them. 10 of them to give away. I'm giving you one. If you want one of these, you got to call me now, and um, I'll set one aside for you at Weller's. This is an experiment, okay? <laughs> Guada, what are you laughing at over there? She's like, <laughs> well, call me. Call me on the phone, 422 422- 7336. If you want one of these pillows, call me now, all right? Oh, my gosh. I hear the music. We're taking a break from the radio. Switch over to TV Delmarva on the Facebook or on the air. TV Delmarva. Channel 14. Here we go. All right. <laughs> hey, can we hey, Hunter, can, we, can we get that commercial, Jerry's commercial up? We want oh, to yes, that. Jerry's yeah. commercial. All right. It should so, be on there somewhere. We gave away a Wawa right. gift card. That was good, yeah. And you thought it was funny. I'm, I didn't bring my notepad. Uh, it, I've got cases yeah. of these things. Uh-oh, now you've got a, a pillow a phone caller. Call. All right, pillow caller. Caller, are you there? Hello? Oh, no. Not there? Did she chicken out? Quada. <laughs> call again. You have to dial the number in that order, 302-422-7336. 
All right. So these pillows, were, <laughs> this is not the first time you've sold pillows. It's not. These are new though, right? These are brand new. These okay. have never been used. Nobody sneezed on them. Nothing, man. These well, the are good brand thing new. is, Jim, if yes. you use it, you don't have to worry about getting hair on it. That's true. Like you're not going to have that. That's right. Right. So anyway, I got them. We're Might be a little drool on it though, but these are brand new. There's none of that on. Right. They That's were good. hermetically sealed. But they're not now. Is that the right, right word, hermetically? I no. <laughs> but but you told me all about it that you loaded all these up in trash yes, bags. I, I'm hoping they were new trash bags. Well, not here's used. the thing. I went where I went and got them from. They were in boxes. Okay. So I took them out of the boxes one by one and threw them in my truck. Then the truck got full in the Yukon, all the whole inside of it. I had well, like 200 of these things. You'd have been good if you were in an accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I got to the studio, I took them 10, 10 and stuffed them in trash bags. And now then I carried them inside and I'm storing them. So we're going to give them away one at a time. We got a couple hundred to go. And I well. don't know. All right. I hope so. Jackie doesn't see them and just say, what are oh, all this? All these bags of trash as I'm she walking takes them by. Out. <laughs> she normally says, can I give you a hand? This one here, she didn't say a word. <laughs> You're on your own is You're what she said. You're on your own with this project. Uh, we have that commercial ready to roll? Yeah, we're going to do did a we, picture too. Did we, uh, right. Sorry, uh, Hunter. Now we got to interrupt his breakfast. Yeah, I know. He was so, right in the middle of... What? We were talking about, you mentioned Jerry's commercial earlier, you know, and, Jerry and then we've Santoro. got the two different ones. Yep. Uh, maybe we'll show the next one the next time. Uh, All right. But this is the call to action commercial. So this is something we created for Jerry, and oh, uh, Jerry. It, it seems to be working now, he says. So uh, here it is. Here's here we what go. It looks like. I got some tree limbs I need fixing, but I can't reach them. Call Jerry. I've tripped over this stump for the last time. Call Jerry. I need someone that has the equipment to get the job done right. Call Jerry. Call Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. The equipment and manpower to get all your pesky outdoor jobs done right. With over 20 years of experience, give Jerry a call at 302-363-6025 or visit online at jlc-llc.com. Call Jerry. <laughs> I like it. Call yeah. Jerry. Great. So anyway, um... Hmm. But I told him, I said, I heard you, I seen your new ad and I really mm -hmm. liked it. And um, he said, yeah, and actually, and I want to tell people, you know, advertising doesn't always, always get phone calls immediately. In right. other words, yeah. all you're trying to do is make sure people don't forget. You're planting that seed that, yep. you know, hey, call Jerry when it's time. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that, that's kind of an example. So that was, we had uh, four. And you made that commercial. Yeah. And we have four different voiceover actors okay, that, you yeah. know, did the voiceovers yeah. in that. So, you know, we can do many different things, but that's just an example of one. And uh, we'll show the other one. I'll, I'll bring Jerry's other one on here too, that we did for him. And uh, you'll be able to see, you know, and that's just kind of a, a this uh, one we're going to play next time is just a, hey, you know, I'm Jerry. I'm just a regular guy well, it's got in his, the community. His wife and kids in there. I've got a family. Yep. And, you know, it's just a real nice, you know, just I'm just a regular guy type of thing, you know, right. the same type of person that you. You know, we have family. We have, you know, this, but we also have a business, and we'd like to, you know, it, it just kind of reinforces that he is a uh, regular guy. Family man. Family man. He's, you know, honesty, integrity type right. of thing. So, And when he does work for you, he's saying, I do it for my family as well as I'm doing it for your family. Right. In other yeah. words, he cares. Right, right. It matters. In other words, you know, when people get upset with the business nowadays and they blast them, mm -hmm. they don't realize... A business isn't that big. It's a group of human beings. It's, it's not just an LLC or a, an Inc. Yes. Right. Yeah, when, yeah. I, when I you know, have my company Christmas party and we take a picture and I see all these families represented, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, that is who Wellers is. It's not the sign right. out front or anything. And when you're upset or you're mad, you need to realize it's a group of human beings that you're interacting with. Right. You know, yep. so... Good point. Uh, so the point is, if you want to advertise on TV, Delmarva, is there any room left to buy a commercial? There's plenty of room left to buy plenty commercials. Plenty of room. Yep. Okay. And uh, yeah, so and we're ready to go, and we're gonna we'll make you a commercial. And we'll get it on the air. Um, the Air Doctor Company, we got those them yep. on the air, and we made a real nice commercial for them, and they're really happy with it. They actually had to run it through. Uh, oh, that's they're a Mitsubishi right. dealer, right. so it had to be approved by this big national company. So, and I didn't realize that until we were done. I was like, "Oh, I hope you I hope we did game. a good enough job." Yeah. <laughs> and you did, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They put their yeah. stamp of approval on it, and they were happy. Well, good. So, yeah. So, how do people reach you, Colin? Uh, give me a call, 302-242-8015. You can text me until nine o'clock on my cell phone. That's it, 302-242-8015. After that, you can just give me a call and uh, be happy to talk with you about advertising. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. All right. So I want to 
show the pillow one more time. This is the pillow we're giving away. You cannot get these at every radio or TV show, all right? These are very unique to me, all right? They've got this wonderful design, and if you don't like that, here's Plain Jane, okay? So they have two different sides. It's a 23-inch pillow. If you want one, call me right now. The phone number is 422 Seven three three six. I'll set one aside for you at Weller's in Bridgeville. No purchase necessary. Chuck Creighton is going to be joining me. He probably never thought in his life that he'd be giving away pillows. Okay. So anyway, um, four two two seven three three six. If you want one of those pillows for free, uh, give me a call and we'll set one aside for you at Weller's in Bridgeville. Linda Bosco is taking a picture of me and Chuck. All right. Here we go. All right, we're back on the radio already. It was just like that. Hunter is the magic man. He just makes it happen over there. All right, so with that said, you're watching and listening to a show called Weller Does Del Marva. Good morning, everybody, to my radio audience, to my TV audience. Got people watching on YouTube, people watching online, people watching on Facebook. Thank you for watching the show. If you can comment in any way, shape, or form, preferably a positive comment if you could. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you need to send me an email, it's jim at wellers.com. Listen to me. This is a weekly show. We're doing it right here inside Beaches Restaurant in Milton, Delaware. There are a lot of people here, but there are room for a few more. If you want to come and have breakfast, have a cup of coffee, or just literally sit here and watch the show unravel by the minute, uh, we start out with a very, very precise plan. And by the end of the show, I'm completely confused, and I forgot whether I got all the, all the stuff accomplished or not. We have a lot of fun. As you saw, we gave away a Wawa gift card already. We got more to give away throughout the show. We got these pillows we're giving away. We are giving away tickets to the Clayton Theater, and who knows what's next. So stay tuned for the giveaways. Right now, we're going to talk to Chuck Creighton, um, and uh, he's here this week. And uh, he's took up golf recently, and he's wearing a thing on his wrist. In other words, to keep up with his golf game. So anyway, Chuck, how you doing today? I'm doing good. How you doing, Jim? Good. Did you have any trouble finding the place? Nope. GPS bumped right to the front door. Did it really? Yes, sir. Wow. All right. So what do you think of it? It's pretty nice. You see yourself nice bringing your wife here for dinner sometime? Absolutely. Okay. Burgers uh, on Thursday are real good. You know, I'm a burger, burger man. Guy. Yep. <laughs> so uh, $10 burgers. And uh, they're really good. And right. you can even get one. I don't know if you like crab like crab dip or anything, but they got one. They'll smother it with crab dip. That sounds awesome. For only 10 bucks. So, yeah. All right. So we have a lot going on at Weller's. Tell me all about it. A lot going on at Weller's. Okay. Because all of a sudden, you told us we're having a sale. Right. I sprung it <laughs> on you. And, and, I, and I do it that way on purpose. In other words, um, I wake up in the middle of the night with the thought, um, I'm going to have a sale. And I don't even really do anything except make it happen. And then I tell Chuck and Mike and the whole team about it. So uh, you didn't know in advance. And yep. we started it when? Yesterday. 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 Yep. So uh, this discounts pretty much on every trailer in stock. Yeah, not not every, every single one, but yeah. The yeah. Ones that are uh, brand new trailers. Yep. Um, there's still stuff coming in daily. So some of that right. stuff's they not going to hit the sale. Right. But uh, right. yeah, most trailers, most every trailer, new trailer on the yard is on sale right now. Right. And uh, they're, they're reduced pretty darn good. Some of them are just a few hundred bucks. Some of them are a few plus a few hundred bucks, you know. Yep. So it's been years since we put something on sale. Uh, yeah, I've never, since I've been, I've been there about two and a half years now. And right. I've never seen anything like this. this because incredible. we changed the way we do business. Chuck come to work, run the store, and we decided to just put our best foot forward every time. Right. Um, I love to wheel and deal. I'm not there as much. Chuck don't like the wheel and deal. He likes to hold on to the money. So I said, well, let's just let's just put our best foot forward right up front. Yep. And we did it, and it's and it's working. But we decided, you know, this gas thing has got everybody up tight. Let's give back. Let's 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 do something for them. So yep. you weren't expecting this. Wasn't expecting it at all. And uh, it's really neat to see the customers respond because we've had customers this week talking. Then they come in to buy yesterday. And you got to tell them, oh, it's oh, less than it was. Is, is this okay with you if we charge you less? You know, right. I have to ask them that. And so yeah. I get them to sign a paper saying it's okay. Yeah, we're good. We don't, we don't want to offend anybody yeah. that we charge them less. No, nope, but it's, it's, it's going over well. I mean, we had a good day yesterday, expecting a crazy busy day today. Yeah, yeah. yeah I bet so. Jimmy's been on vacation. How's that been for you? That's been... Did you even notice he's going? Yes, yes. Jim, we love Jimmy, and he's a very valuable asset to the company. Okay. And he's very missed when he's gone. Okay, because you're probably sleeping better without him. 
I'm, I just have to. Yeah, I, I sleep good yeah. now. Yeah, this yeah, week has I been challenging. You, I bet you're going home tired. Uh, yeah, I, I wake up tired right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know you're really tired when you wake up tired. Yeah. Oh mm. my! So anything new happening this week, or anything you want to mention? Um, we're getting still getting crazy lo- loads of inventory. I think we've got six loads of trailers in this week. Yeah. So the trailers are still coming, yeah. even though we're selling. You know, we're selling large amounts every single week, and uh, we're restocking. We're staying stocked. Yeah. So the inventory's great. Um, plenty of stuff to sell. And something that we haven't done in years either is we're putting prices on all the trailers. Right. That's I spent a lot of day yesterday just going around the yard making sure everything's on the trailers. Uh, with so a there's sale, a little sign right on the tongue. Little sign right on the right on usually on the the, the jack hanging up top. Okay. So it's really okay. highly visible, but uh, that way you know the sale price. You if you've been like I say you've been shopping, you know the price you've been quoted or saw the old right online price, and you will see that and you notice that I had a customer say I see the price is, is different. I said well they're on sale today. Right. So uh, now we're yeah. gonna do this sale all through the month of June. It'll expire July first. The only problem you're gonna have if you wait. Is there some trailers that we have one of or two of? No, there's some we have 20 of. Yeah, some we have, but, but the color, if you have a certain color you want, certain option yeah, you want, yep. th- those combinations are one and two here and there. So it's, it's yep. a, there's a little bit of urgency there because if you got a trailer you want, now's the time to buy it because it will never be this cheap again. Right. That's for sure. Not only will they not be this price again, but a lot of the manufacturers, their model year changes July 1st. Right. So that is when they roll out their new pricing. So in other words, there's never, there's not much more incentive than if you want to save yourself some money, let's do it now. Let's do it right now. Let's do it now. So today we're open till two, right? Eight to two. Eight to two. And then um, we're closed Mondays, of course, and uh, we're off also Memorial Day. And, um, but anyway, what else? We're open Tuesday through Friday. Tuesday through Friday, nine to five, Saturday, eight to two. Okay. Um, We still got the six months, same as cash going on right now. That's handy. So if you want to buy it and pay for it in full before six months and avoid all finance charges, that's a real good incentive. That I is think. a good incentive, isn't it? Yeah, because that puts us into what? The six months. That's November. Yeah. You know, as long as you pay it off, you know, have in some full. fun this summer, you know, use their money for right. for six months. Or if you're a contractor and you got a couple other things you want to spend your money on right now, you yeah. can we had use somebody farmer, else's money. A farmer yesterday, you know, my, my crops will come in by the time this six that's months. That's a good point, right? I'll be yeah. able to pay it off with no yeah. trouble at all. And he's using somebody else's money for six months. Yep, absolutely. And there's not even a payment for the first three months. Right, uh, 90 days deferred. So there's no payments for deferred. the first three months. And then in six months from the time of purchase, you pay it off. There's no finance charges. So what's the website and what's the store number? Uh, we have 302-337-8228, wellers.com. Wellers.com. It's real simple. You're going to be in sales today, or what are you doing today? You taking um, off or working? I've still got signs to put on trailers. I might be outside oh, okay. putting signs on trailers. I'll be everywhere, okay. everywhere. Like, I, like I usually am. <laughs> yeah, Chuck's a good man. He's everywhere. All right. Well, I hope you have a good weekend. Are you doing anything special? Nope. I told my wife I'm going to sleep this weekend. Then when I wake up, I'm going to sleep some more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Chuck, take care, okay? Right. Yes, sir. All we'll, right. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. All right. There he goes, Chuck Creighton, uh, my main man. Does a good job for me. I'm very honored and proud to have him on board. And a lot of people know Chuck. So, all right. With that said, uh, what's going on? Nobody called for the pillar. I'm going to do it one more time. Is Guada want a pillar? You got to call, though. That's the law. You just got to call. Here's the pillar. Uh, what was that? Say it one more time. Hold on just a second. She's going to tell me something. Is Kevin Short here for real? Kevin, if you're here, we want to say hi to you real quick. Kevin celebrated a milestone this week, the big 6-0, the big 6-0 for Kevin. Anyway, so um, he had a birthday. So I want you to sit down here. We're going to get Colin and Hunter to sing happy birthday to you. Oh, was, Steve Grossman wanted to it, sing It was birthday. not 6-0. Oh, it wasn't? No. Was no. it uh, in the 40s? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Plus. Can you yeah, take a picture yeah, at this yeah. age still? Sure. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Did you take it? All right. Now, so happy birthday to you. Well, thank you. Did you go to the movies? I did. Yeah. I yeah. also heard you were at Surf and Turf. Uh, that's true. What, was I spotted? <laughs> the manager called and said, I think your friend Kevin Short's here. Okay. Yeah. That I was... said, well, until you confirm it, don't put it on my account. No, that. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we did. My daughter, my daughter, I think, was there. And oh, okay. I think she said she saw you there and saw you at the movies. 
Really? But she didn't want to speak to you because she knows you're famous. Yeah, okay. And so All she right. was intimidated by your uh, your famous Everything famous you said about the theater was correct. Yep. Chairs yeah. were great. Chairs are great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chairs were wonderful. Popcorn's but I'll good. I'll tell you what. I got the heat on, and I had to figure out how to turn it off. It takes can, a while. They can warm up quick. They can. Yeah. Well, it's called toasting your buns. <laughs> you go to the movies really? to toast your buns. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and if you get there uh, early, you can pick your seat. That's there you go. There <laughs> so you, go. you can pick your seat and toast your buns. Hey, and you can charge your cell phone. I forgot to tell you that. It's you got know, a USB port built so, into it. So we left that we watched the movie. Okay. We left the theater. Right. We go out to the truck and I don't have my keys. So the keys had fallen out of my pocket in the chair while I was leaned back. Really? So we had to walk back in. Offer a reward. <laughs> yeah, get, no, and get the keys. <laughs> And wow. so the lights were on then, and we were examining these chairs, you know, in, in, in a lot more detail. And we, okay. Because we weren't carrying food or anything right. else. And then we, we found the charging port. Yeah. So, wow. Well, here's the so. thing. As you get older, you're going to have more of those senior moments oh, yeah. where you leave your keys somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. We had a blast, though. It was, it was a great, you know, typically this is the first year that I've not been out of town celebrating my birthday and uh, it was it was nice just to be home and, and it was cool and you and I had lunch together that day yep. thank you for taking me and um, well, thanks for allowing me to take you no it was a great time it's an honor to be in your presence thanks for posting 85 <laughs> pictures of me they were good pictures <laughs> they though. were they were they were very good I spent a couple hours of my life on I, that I got a day. lot of comments about those pictures yep there were some good ones in there your mom there on your opening day and um it I tell you, a, a, lot, you know, a lot of people confusing the, the Grand Theater with... Uh, the the Wilmington. With, yeah, with, with, yeah, with Carnegie Hall, but that's okay. Remember, we almost got in trouble at Carnegie no, Hall? No, we didn't almost get in trouble at all. No, we did not. <laughs> you did, because they, 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 they kind of mentioned no pictures. And, and I thought they meant you, yeah, not uh-huh. me. And not only did you not use a camera or a phone, <laughs> you used an iPad, you know, which... Is, like an 18 inch, you know, diagonal <laughs> iPad. I'm holding it up and so, it's lighting up the whole yeah, room. They, they, did they confiscate it? No, they just gave it me is, a look like yeah. <laughs> that you were looking at, buddy. <laughs> oh, we had a good time, though. We had a good that time. Was a lot of fun. Remember, yeah. we went to a steakhouse? We did. Oh, here's yeah. another Uncle senior Jack's. moment. Yeah. Another senior moment. What happened there? Remember, we rode up and back in a limousine? We did. And yep. what did you do? What did you leave in the limousine? Oh, I don't know. What, what, what Your was cell it? phone. I had, I, that's right. I had to call you to run the limousine down. To run down. the limousine driver get, That's down right. To come to back. To get your cell phone. Bring my phone back. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't call you from my phone. I had to call you from <laughs> Debbie's phone. Which I was hoping you would answer. I did, though. Yeah, and you did. Yep. I yeah, answer you, all calls, you, telemarketers, you, everybody. You ran the guy down, too. I did. Which it was, took him a while to stop. Yeah. Because he was thinking, I don't want yeah. no trouble. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He probably thought there was a celebrity in there. So. Oh, man. So, so That was man, a good time. We've had some good times. We went to the steakhouse in New York. Yep. Remember that? Yeah, no, that was all good. It was yeah. good. And, uh... And then we had the, the picture from your surgery with my dad. That's right. And uh, that, that, was, that was in there. So. It was a nice visit. I did want it no was, visitors, and you, here you, comes Kevin. You had said <laughs> no visitors. I made it clear. It's, it was said on the radio every day, yeah. no visitors. And, and, and I was up there with dad because right. he had just recently had surgery. So we were, I didn't, you know, I you wasn't. You didn't drive all the way there just for me. Well, because you said no visitors. <laughs> right. And, but since we were there, we popped in, and we had a good time. We had a good visit. So right. I think I, you were kind of glad you had a visit. Oh, I was. No, yeah. I was. But yeah. that was an awful time. So, <laughs> and, and it would have been worse. And how many years ago did you say that was? Six. It was six years ago wow. this week. Yep. Wow. Six years ago. Wow. So, um, but they remember me when I left. We bought cases of Wolferman. <laughs> um, what are they called? I can what are only, they called? I can't English imagine. Muffins. So we had yeah. these cases of Wolferman's English muffins delivered. And so everybody on the floor got some. Really? All the nurses and everybody. Yep, it was good. Uh-huh. They were they were very happy because they were really good Wolferman stuff. So we left them good, and they ought to be glad I didn't have no visitors. That's right. I, it would have been a mess. It could have gotten worse. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. Gotten worse. Yeah, they, right. yeah, they don't know who would have visited you. Right, yeah, right. That's it's right. hard to say. It's, yeah. Well, uh, you know, I'm surprised you didn't try to do your show live. I, I want to tell you, this is no lie. <laughs> you draw. You I thought about it. it, didn't you? I did. Yeah. I, I did. It was all I could do, but I could barely hold an iPad. I mean, live from ICU. Yeah. John Tompkins. Here he is, everybody. Oh, uh, man. 
Well, All right. It was good seeing you. And Thanks for uh, coming. you got a great crowd here today. Yep. No fights that broke out. This Everybody's is... enjoying the food. <laughs> Milton's uh, a great town. It is. It is. This is a this is a nice event, and we like seeing all these people come, and it's it's good. You it's having good breakfast? I am. Yep. Okay. I'm well. sitting over there with Colin. We're um, we're you know swapping stories and uh, okay. getting to have breakfast. So don't forget your big wire. We okay. Got a big all right. Wire cool. Of yours. Yeah. Yep. Very good. Yeah. We've been no renting problem. it out, but okay. we're done renting. Okay. All right. It. You know, you know, I'll okay. stop billing you. Well, I would buy your breakfast, but I don't want to offend you by no, buying. No, that's fine. You already. You, that's, that's right. You already done that. So all there right. you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Take care. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, see Kevin. You. Are you going to let me go? I'm going to let you go. All right. I'm going to let you go. They've all already right. cut your mic off. <laughs> yeah. All right. See ya. All right. So there he goes, Kevin Short, the birthday boy. So what else is going on? Had a busy morning here. Lots of people, lots of things going on. Let's give away one more gift card to Wawa. Are we ready? Is that, look at that. Is that phone ringing already? No way. That's got to be a pillow phone call. Caller, are you there? Yes. And what are you calling in reference to? I would like to have the pillow. The pillow. Okay. Did you see it on the radio or on TV or? I see it in the dining room. Oh, okay. All right, and is what is your name, young lady? You sound like My a name teenager. Is Guada. Guada. I know a lady named Guada. All right. Is pink okay? Pink is perfect. Pink is perfect. Is this for Brad or is this for you? For Brad. All right. Do you want a different color for Brad? I got other colors. No, pink is good. Pink is good. All right, Guada, we got you down for one pillow, okay? Thank you. All right, see you. Bye. Now, she was brave doing that because she's sitting right on the other side of the room. So, But I'm going to make her go all the way to Wellers in Bridgeville to get that thing. Because <laughs> it's the law, okay? Once we say this stuff, we have to abide by it. All right, let's do a Wawa gift card. Anybody out there want a $25 Wawa gift card? We're going to give away one. You got to pick it up at Wellers in Bridgeville. Caller, are you there? Well, good morning, Jim. How are you doing? And who am I talking to? Oh, he's talking to Terry. This ain't Terry. Yes, Terry, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to disguise your voice? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, what would you do I'll with it? What are you going to do with a gift card? Are you calling for the Wawa gift card or the Pilla? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll take it. What are you going to do with it? Uh, I'll probably buy a milkshake and stuff like that. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And what Wawa do you go to? Uh, the one in Seaford. The one in Seaford, Okay. Well, I'll set the gift card aside for you at Weller's, all right? All right, I'll stop by there probably on late for you if you can. All right, just don't come on Monday, all right? All right. Hey, what are you doing yeah, this but, weekend? What are you doing this weekend? Oh, uh, nothing. Just hang, just hang around the house and, uh, you know, just do stuff around here. And um, I, don't do, I don't do too much on, on uh, you know, holidays and stuff. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Are you watching or listening? Are you listening? I'm watching. I'm sitting here right here. I'm watching you right here on the TV. TV? What TV channel? Uh, channel three, uh, 14. 14. 14.1. 14. 14 14.1, to be exact. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, take care, Terry, okay? All right. You, you, look, you look real good on there. For, oh, for Jim Waller. I got my hair cut. Yeah. You look, your head is shiny. <laughs> it is. That is. Yep. We're going to get some. All right. You take care. Have a good See you. Bye. 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 That's my new nickname, Shiny Head. Shiny Head. All right. Let's brag on Dry Zone for just a minute, okay? This is the Dry Zone segment. So this is a sponsor segment, everybody. And Dry Zone, as you know, can help you if you need a crawl space encapsulated. They are the local experts in that field. If you're getting ready to open your pool and you've got some concrete around your pool and some of it's just uh, sunk down and one side sinks down and one side raises up, they can level up your concrete. All right, so anyway, um, I just want to let you know they can do that. They also can help you if you've got a leaky basement or some structural problems. There's a lot of services that DryZone provides. You can learn a lot about them by going to DryZone.com, DryZone.com, and uh, learn about them there. They're a good locally owned and operated company. There's a lot of people that provide the same services they do, but nobody, nobody does it like DryZone. I've dealt with them myself for years on many different projects, different properties, and been very very happy with everything they did. They are experts in their field and they really care 
that you're satisfied. So anyway, if you need something done, you're not sure if Dry Zone does it, give them a call or go to their website and learn about them there. They also own another company called Hello Garage. It's like a sister or brother division. Anyway, it's a division of Dry Zone, and uh, it's also a company that goes in and can remodel your garage. What they mainly do is they can recoat your floor. Maybe you got some oil spots or grease stains or whatever. You want a nice new floor with some of them little speckles in it. You could pick some different colors. They can do that. They sell cabinets and put them up for you, and uh, they have some bracketry they can put up so to help hang things and store things and stuff like that. So they can spruce up your garage. So uh, if you're interested in that, check out hellogarage.com. So anyway, give them a call. It's 302-684-5034-684-5034, dryzone.com, hellogarage.com. Tell them I sent you. And if you're looking for a new career, they are always looking to talk to people that are career-minded. They're looking for more employees, always growing. Any questions, just give them a call or stop and see them right there on Beach Highway at the Big Red Dry Zone Barn. Phone number 302-684-5034 or dryzone.com on the web. All right, and we appreciate their support of the show. We have a lot of good um, advertisers on this show, and we appreciate that. If you are out there and listening and you ever want to be on this show or whatever, you know, feel free to let me know. I see Ron Hagen and his uh, daughter have arrived. Okay? All right. And um, I see a lot of different people. Snooky and Pat are here today. And um, so a lot of different folks. Um, I thought I saw Greg Fuller stopped in. Yep, Greg Fuller is here. So good morning, Greg. How you doing? All right. So a lot of people here, folks. A lot of people. All right. So I want to brag on L&W Insurance real quick. Uh, this is another good sponsor of the show. And um, they are my insurance people. So and uh, I meet more and more people that uh, either have dealt with L&W or since hearing about them on the show, they have gave them a call, reviewed what insurance they had, realized that they maybe weren't adequately covered. Because most people, when they buy insurance, they shop one thing strong, price. Okay, so price is critical. It's critical. But you want to make sure that you're properly insured because that's priceless. And I meet people all the time. They say, I met with L&W. They took a look at what I had. They say, gave me a couple recommendations. Maybe put your homeowner's insurance and your car insurance under the same thing and get a little discount here and that. So anyway, they don't just sell commercial insurance. They sell renter's insurance. They sell all kinds of insurance. So you don't have to own a business to deal with L&W. So you give them a call. And um, you can tell them what you got or tell them what you need, and they'll take you from there, okay? When you have a claim, they don't abandon you. They get involved. They help you. If you're not clicking with the insurance company, they'll get right in the middle of it and help you out. And that's kind of rare nowadays. That's kind of rare. So anyway, it's l and Insurance Agency. I deal with them for all kinds. I Even our health care, we have it with them. So anyway, it's lwinsurance.com on the web. You call them on the telephone. It's 302 856 7828. Dial it in that order now. That means 856 7828. And on the web, it's lnwinsurance.com. And on Facebook, it's LNW Insurance on Facebook. All right. And they're always posting stuff all week long. So check them out. I've been very, very happy with them. You will be too. It's important to be adequately insured and it's important to make sure that you got a good agent behind you if and when you need them. All right. We gave away one pillow so far. So I want to show the pillow one more time. Not every radio station is giving away pillows, but I am. So here it is right here. Had no idea it was going to be so popular. It's a brand new plushy pillow. Uh, it's 23 inch. Very nice. Very comfortable. Okay. They're brand new. I've not used them. They've never been used before or anything like that. And we're giving them away. This one is pink. We got pink ones today. So if you want one for free, for free, no cost. You got to dial 302-422-7336, 422-7336, and I will set one aside for you at Weller's in Bridgeville. We're down to, I had 200, I've given away one. We're down to 199. Only got 199 of them left, folks. So if you want a pillow, call me now. All right, with that said, we also, we also, what was that? That's true. That's true. And I'll lose. I'm growing right through my hair. I don't want to be any taller. So, yes, if I were to sit on the pillow, but then it wouldn't be new anymore. So I'm trying not to use it. OK, we've not sneezed on it, drooled on it. Nothing. It's a brand new pillow. I can see they're not a hot item. I might have made a mistake buying 200 of these things. 
I'll have them at, grand, at, at a grand opening at a friend of mine's uh, new business. All right, what else is going on? I think he understood what I meant there. I'll be out in the parking lot giving them away, flagging people down. Free pillows, free pillows. Okay, it's called a silencer. You can use it. Let's not get into that. <laughs> All right, I hear the radio is going to leave me, so we're taking a break from the radio. Switch over to TV Delmarva right now. I don't want you to miss a thing. I'm supposed to stop talking, but I just can't do it. I've stopped. All right. Here we go. Colin Walls. Hey, TV good morning. Delmarva. Yeah, What's TV Delmarva. On? Well, we talked about, we should have won Jerry's commercial, the Call that Jerry one. Oh, commercial. Oh, that's so cool. Show me the best shot commercial. Play that one. The best shot commercial. Well, he yeah. hasn't made one yet. Oh, so okay. We'll get to that. He can do he, it in person. Grand open. We'll have a grand opening. Uh, hey, yeah. One, so, yeah. We'll be giving away pillows. <laughs> Let's not get there. All right. Anyway. <laughs> hey, me, and, right. me and Kevin were me over there. Kevin. just. Kevin. We're talking, and oh, I'm sure you, you know, are. I was, <laughs> I was, I was joking with you this morning about you know you say pillows instead of pillows, right. but I've noticed after that you're now calling it pillows, <laughs> and I, me and Kevin were talking. We're like, people don't listen to hear you pronounce word words correctly, Jim. No, they I want can't you even to say, say the word gazebo. So right, what? So go back to pillows instead of pillows. All right, pillows. Pillows. It's a pillow. <laughs> it's a pillow. <laughs> All right, so anyway, oh, here's the Jerry's okay. commercial the, that we did. Two people here critiquing my words. I can't believe well, it. Well, we're critiquing because you're pronouncing correctly. <laughs> we want you to go back to the, oh, what the we're used way. to. Yeah, okay, that's what right. people tune in for. Okay. The real Jim <laughs> the Weller. Re exactly, yes. Not the sophisticated Jim Weller. All right. All right. Here's the other Jerry's commercial we did, and it's a, it's a good branding commercial. It is. That just kind of shows, you know, who he is and what he does and, you know, just, right. yeah. So, go ahead. Roll okay, it. Okay, roll it. Hi, I'm Jerry with Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. This is my family. We've been in business for 15, 20 years now. We do tree trimming and removal, do lawn care maintenance. Our phone number is 302-363-6025. We have a website if you want to reach us there. It's www.jlc-llc.com. And also on Facebook at Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. If you need any of those services, please give us a call. Yeah. His wife is saying, you didn't tell me to bring sunglasses. <laughs> right. They were. I think they were looking right into the sun when, yeah, uh, yeah. when we went out and shot that. Because so. you need the sun behind the camera. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. So you need. You don't want shadows on half their face. So right. Yeah. Right. Yep. But that was pretty cool. There's Jerry's wife exactly. and children, and he's a yeah. family man. And, and I've been promoting him for years. He's yeah. just an all-around good guy. Mm -hmm. So yep. you made that commercial, too. We sure did. Yep. We sure, sure did. So we can make a commercial for you and you. And, and you. you and you and so, everybody in here, yeah, by right. golly, that's right. Wait till we wait till you see our Mid South Audio commercial. We do so. It's okay. going to be good. Mid South Audio. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All Kevin's right. Like what? Yep. <laughs> Kevin's going to have hair. And I've already one. talked to the marketing director, Kevin. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So <laughs> what else is going on? Uh, so if you want to get in touch with me about any advertising on TV Delmarva, give me a call or actually text me until nine o'clock if you want three zero two. 242-8015. After that, I'll take a phone call to that same number. If you just want to bounce around ideas, Colin's not yeah. no high-pressure salesman. I've got, I've got a couple ideas for one current advertiser and a potential advertiser for uh, kind of an infomercial, like a half-hour show oh, that, that we could do cool. about their product. Um, yeah. yeah, so uh, I'm going to let them know about these ideas I have. I think that's a great idea. I think I, it is, too. Because you know what they could do with that half-hour show is then they could go put it on their, fa their um, uh, what's it called, Facebook, website. Facebook, website, right. YouTube. Right, so yeah. for what you would charge for the show would probably be what they would spend just to produce one. Oh, no doubt, yeah. And yeah. then they can yeah. use it for yep. other things. Exactly. Unless you're going to tell me they aren't allowed to use it. No, they are allowed to oh, use I it. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm coming and, up with this I, idea. Actually, I've actually had people ask me, you know, when we've made commercials for them, say, can we use this other places? Because there are certain That's right. TV stations they that will not you. allow you to use. They say, this right. is ours, and, you know, we gave you a deal on this. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. But, What's that called? Pertuitary rights or? Proprietary? Yeah, I was close. <laughs> yeah. Pituitary, yes. Just like your gland. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I had heard man. that word somewhere, pituitary. <laughs> right, at least you didn't right. say prostate. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> oh, oh, my, my goodness. goodness. Jim. What do you think of the crowd today? Uh, oh, this is, is that your crowd? mother? Mom and Oscar are here. Oscar, Snooki Oliver, Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> Oliver hasn't made I'm it yet. I'm going to get it right. Yeah. Oscar, how you doing? Good. All right. So, anyway, um, yep, Snooki's here. I yeah. see Bert's here. Yep. Bert Adams is going to come on in a little bit and yep. chit-chat with us. Breakfast Bob. I didn't miss anybody, did I? 
I don't um, think so. No. Yeah, do you want me to uh -oh, take a, a survey down there? I'm not sure who the other people are. So. Yep. All right. I'll leave you alone. All right, oh, we done. I saw Denny Carroll. Yeah, you're gonna give done. some more away, some more of these twenty five dollar gift cards. I'm kind of holding on to them. I'm kind of. I like them. <laughs> I'm starting to feel comfortable having these here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think we should. So uh, we'll do that. You want to do it right now? Uh, that's up to you. If you All want right, to, that's fine that. with me. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go for our TV audience. A Wawa gift card for twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. Call me right now. I'll set it aside at Weller's in Bridgeville. And you can pick it up there next week, Tuesday through Saturday. Yep. We'll three have the phone number on the screen. 422-7336. 302-422-7336. Call right this minute, and you can have this card for free. All right? We're going to give it to you just for watching the How much show. is it for? $25. Really? Yep. You can get some gas, get a cup of coffee, whatever you want to do. Terry is going to get a milkshake, he said. Oh, okay. Yep, so... You can get whatever Wawa sells. You know nice. what I mean? Very good. So, 422-7336. We're prepping for the radio. All right. Okay? I don't I'll know why I always touch my collar when they say that. So, it's supposed to be my hair. All right. I hear the music. I hear the music. That's be next. That's for Glenn. Is Bert. Okay. No problem. Okay. What was that? We got a phone call? Oh, we have a phone call for real? Yeah, you got one. And who am I talking to? You're talking to Margie Massey. Say it one more time. Margie Massey. Margie Massey. Do you own Massey's Landing? No, I don't own much of anything. Okay, and are you watching on TV or Facebook or radio? I'm watching on my phone. On your I'm phone? Yep, I'm watching on my phone, get, wait to go into work. Where do you well, work at? I to you on my radio, and okay. then I switched over to my phone when you switched over. All right, and so uh, I miss you. would you use this gift card to Wawa? Yes, I would definitely. Would you rather now, trade? Would you rather trade that for a pillow? Um, no, I think I'd rather have a gift card. <laughs> All I'll right. Take a pillow so, and the gift card. What was that? I said I'll take a pillow and a gift card. Oh, I can't do that. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> I know. I'm kidding. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm not greedy. That's all right. And um, have you ever called in before? Nope, this is my first time. Well, thank you. So I'm gonna set it aside for you at Weller's in Bridgeville, and you got to okay. pick it up next week, Tuesday through Saturday. Tuesday through Saturday. Okay, I live right in Laurel, so you're not far away. All right. Well, have a good, safe weekend. Okay. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Margie. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Next, I'm gonna take a picture with Bert. We're both sporting a new hairdo. Hold on, everybody. Same, yeah. Same hairdo. Yep. All right. All right. So I feel so, comfortable now. So, Bert, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. And um, so, you've never been here with us yet. Not, so, um, not yet. We've been to Laurel a couple times. Yeah. Now it's the first time here. So, a little closer to a home. Clo well, a little closer to home. Uh, but I, now I got to fight the traffic going back down. That's down. true. And you're going to have to I'm, fight I'm them. I'm going to have to fight it. Yep. So. They're taking over. So, anyway. Right. So, <clears throat> what's up with the Patriots for Delaware? So, Patriots for Delaware, uh, we were. Involved pretty heavily with school boards. School boards are over. Yep. Uh, we got a couple. We got a few wins. Good. Uh, the ones that didn't win, we kind of felt they didn't work hard enough either. You okay. know, for, for themselves. Well, so you have to. You got to get out there and work. And uh, but the, the, we the gentleman all, in Milford did a good job, didn't he? He did a fantastic job. And he we, did. We give him the credit for that, though. He had his campaign did ready, really? ready to run. Yeah. So I mean, but at the same time, when you only get Laurel and Seaford with 1.9% of voters coming out and 2.4% of voters coming really? out. Really? That hurts. That does so hurt. So people yeah. need to get out and vote. Yeah. So now we've moved on uh, more to education. Okay. Uh, we're trying to educate uh, candidates, campaigns. Uh, we've got some stuff in the works right now. We need more volunteers still. We always need volunteers. Right. That'll never end. That never ends. So as long as we get enough volunteers to help out with all the different campaigns that we stand behind that stand behind the constitution right you know i mean right. that's that's the main thing right you want we want people that are believe in the constitution right and we'll protect it and if you don't mm -hmm. know the constitution read it learn and, it understand and, it and there are some uh places that you can go to take classes on the constitution really uh, yeah there's uh Larry Mayo does them in Milford, and Chris wow. Rowe does them up in Wilmington. No kidding. And they just opened up a, I think Larry Mayo started the first 
class on Delaware Constitution. So now we've got educating people. Not just the US Constitution, but now we got classes on the Delaware Constitution. So people get educated. Wow. That's the thing. Get educated, know right. what's going on, get right. out and vote. If we can get 100% of the people to go out and vote, our world will change. Guess what? Guess what? There wouldn't be any cheat. Right. There wouldn't be no way to cheat. So there right, wouldn't be any. Everybody there, voted. So nobody could say, okay, well, there was a cheating going on. Right. So yep, hopefully I everybody agree. gets out and votes. So if one, somebody wanted to learn more about the group, do they go to the Facebook page? Do they go to a website? What they, do they do? I would go to the uh, website and sign up. Okay. You know, uh, there's places to sign up for volunteers. There's places okay. to sign up for member outreach. There's places to sign up for uh, a couple of the different committees that we have. And the main but purpose the main, yeah. of the group, I find, is to educate people, to that, help people realize what rights we do have and, and, and when how people, to protect them. And how to protect them, you know, you know, civilly, in other words, right, right. and you're not trying to incite <laughs> anything, you're just trying to get people to stand up for themselves. And, and that's why we've tried to, I mean, we're trying hard to be a nonpartisan group, but it seems like everybody that comes to our meetings leans a little bit more to the right. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to educate the people in the middle and on the left. Correct. And the people on the right. I mean, right. we've got to educate everybody. So we're all in We're all in this in together, and yeah, we, we all have to stand up for what's right. Yeah, and make a difference. And make a difference. Right. So you are helping, you know, encourage people, school board members, to, to run a good campaign, to get involved. And uh, now you've got, you know, it's a political season. I believe everybody, every senator and every representative is running. I think like 64 yeah, of them. Exactly. They're all open seats this year. Right. Every seat's open because thing. of redistricting. Yeah. Uh, so as long as we get people to get out and vote and get to know your candidates. Right. I mean, make sure, vet them. I right. mean, ask, ask them questions. questions. Yeah. Ask questions. And that's, you got to get people out there doing that. Yeah. And it's nice. Delaware is such a small state. You literally can you can you can find your candidates. You can find your candidates pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of them don't want to be found, but, <laughs> <laughs> but if they're running, they want to they want to talk they to you. They want to talk know. to you. That's for sure. So, and you need helpers, anything from going to an event, and setting up tables and chairs well, to that. Mostly, mostly now we're focused on uh, volunteers for making phone calls, uh, getting involved with campaigns, okay, uh, helping individual candidates, okay, uh, uh, going door to door. Uh, right. Handing out flyers, okay. stuff like that. So I mean, there's a lot of. So if you know a candidate that uh, needs help, and every candidate needs help, right? Uh, contact them. Get in contact with them personally. Yeah. So see what you can do they, to help. Them. They will definitely need your help. They okay. won't turn it down. Right. Some of them might need something as simple as somebody to drive them. Exactly. So they can make phone calls or talk, you know, or catch up while they're riding. You know, exactly. Or take a break. So. All right, so on the web, what is the website? The website is PatriotsForDelaware.com. Okay. Very simple. And same thing on Facebook. Oh, same thing on Facebook. What little right. bit of Facebook we have. It's okay. just mainly administrative, uh, so there's stuff put on there. Okay. But it's not where, it's not a group uh, Facebook page anymore okay. because we, okay. got, we got kicked out a while ago. On that. Oh, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. So anyway, um, so check out the website anyway. Learn about it. Get involved. Make a difference. And Quit sitting on the sidelines. That's right. Get in. Get in there. Get in, get engaged. Get engaged. All right. Well, have a good weekend. Thank okay. You. Be I, safe. All I right. Hope so be careful go, in the traffic. I'll go eat my breakfast now. All right. Thank all you, right, Bert. Thank Take you. care. All right. And that is Bert. All right. I want to talk real quick about Blue Hen Fuel. Blue Hen Fuel is a sponsor of the show, so this is a sponsor segment. And I want to just tell you that um, I've been really pleased to have them involved with the show. So if if you use propane. <clears throat> or heating oil to heat with, they were telling me, or they were telling me, I'm telling you about their budget program. It starts, I think, in June. So in other words, you can go ahead and um, start paying a certain amount of money each month. So when you get that big load of propane or that big load of heating oil and the bill's not two or 300, it might be two or 3,000 this year when you get your stuff, you need to um, start budgeting for it. So you can pay a little bit of money each month, and then that way when you get that big bill, you're a lot more prepared for it than you were. So it's Blue Hen Fuel. They also sell gasoline and kerosene. So if you're a contractor or a farmer and you have a tank, you know, like I always say, I got a gas tank. And I'm actually still burning gasoline that I paid three thirty three a gallon for. Now, now, that was a while back, but I got a 1,000-gallon tank, and I'm still using that. Makes me feel good while everybody else is paying four fifty or something like that. But anyway, if you need gas, you need diesel fuel, you need propane, you need heating oil, whatever you may need, Blue Hen Fuel can help you out. You want to talk about the budget program, give them a call and say, hey, Jim was talking about that. Explain it to me. And uh, it'll help you because this year... 
later in the year when you got to get your you know your heating oil filled up and you get you know 200 gallons at at whatever per gallon or same way with propane and so on it's going to be a sticker shock for you so let's prepare let's start the budget thing now and then that way it won't be such a some big hit on you. So anyway, it's Blue Hen Fuel. They are big enough to serve you, no question, but they're small enough to know you. And what that means is they know your name. Where does that happen nowadays? So anyway, phone number, dial it in this order, 302-424-4328. That's 424 and the word heat, 424-4328. BlueHenFuel.com on the web. Like them on Facebook. They're very active there. And also, if you got a, a propane tank, like for your camper or your gas grill and you need it filled up, just bring it by. They're placed in Lincoln, and they'll fill it up for you. All right. So, CP King, thanks for your support. And uh, Blue Hen Fuel is a good company, and I will probably see him on Monday at the big auction. All right. Now, we have a lady on here. Let me find my list of questions. Oh, we're having to take a picture first. Okay. Hold on, everybody. It's picture time. All right, we got it. All right, I have to tilt my head so there's not a glare. Ooh. All right, now, this is, I was. I had to say to Ron, I said, this is Ron Hagen's better half. And there's no question, when you meet the two of them, you could tell, this is Ron <laughs> Hagen's better half. Her name is Jennifer, is that right? Correct. Okay, and I tried to get her on here last week. Ron told me she really likes to brag about Ron and how fortunate she is to be married to Ron and how a good driver Ron is and how good he is with managing money. It's the Ron Show. So how are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. And um, how long have you guys been married? Uh, we are going on 10 years, but 10 we've been years. together for 16. Really? Yeah. So that's like a long stress test for you. It definitely has been, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a school teacher. I am. And how long has that been? Uh, I'm going to finish my 26th year. Wow, congratulations. Yes. Wow, so um, I bet you've seen a lot change in the school world. Definitely. With parents, administration, and the kids. Yes, All definitely. Of them. Wow. So let's yeah. talk about what's it like to be married to Ron Hagen. <laughs> okay? So, um... The new business. Uh, you yes. are, are you very involved in the business? I am. Okay. I don't mean yes. to just sign the papers. I mean, but like, are you really involved? No. Um, okay. Once lacrosse season's over. Okay. So now it's. I'll you be... play lacrosse? No, I officiate. Okay. I officiate okay. lacrosse. So I've been very busy in the spring with that. Okay. okay. Um, so now that that's over, I'll have more time to spend right. back and in the business. And the business is called Best Shot. Yes. And it's a gun store. Yes, it is. And I believe that both of yours passion, I guess you being an educator, yes. is you want people that own a gun to be responsible, to be educated Correct. in so, safety. Um, right. Our most important thing is to educate first. Um, and then we do all the training that's necessary right. so that you feel 100% comfortable. Um, and it's our mission. Like, if you're not comfortable, then we need to do a better job. We okay. need to spend more time with you. Okay. Um, so we just want you to be as educated and as safe as possible with your firearm so that you can protect yourself and your loved ones. Right. And um, so that's what I like about this husband and wife team because, you know, a lot of ladies are at a point in life, yes. they, they want to own a gun. They, they never thought about it at one time in their life, never even thought about it. Now, all of a sudden, it's almost a necessity just to feel comfortable. Just to feel safe. Yeah, yeah just to feel safe. Yes. So, um so do you teach any of the classes? I do. Oh, you do? Okay. I do. Okay. All right. A couple so, weeks ago, I was on the range doing a private lesson with okay. someone who had bought a firearm two years ago, never took it out of the box, sent a message, hey, I need to have another lesson with Jen. Wow. So I was like, okay. And sure enough, everything just came right back to her naturally. So it was wow. awesome. It was a great experience. We had a lot of fun. Wow. So yeah. people can come and bring their own gun or buy a yep. gun or whatever, and you train them. <laughs> Um, but if you want to buy a gun, you've got guns in stock, ammunition, Absolutely. things like that. And um, who was passionate about this first? You or Ron? Uh, like, really, whose Ron idea was. was this? Okay. So the story goes. <laughs> okay. Um, I was still teaching, and I was coming home because my lovely husband became retired. Right. And when some I people was... said he didn't even work when he was working. Well, I don't so, know. That's kind of debatable. I know. I'm just kidding. You. <laughs> so. When I was still coming home and he was still in the recliner <laughs> watching Gunsmoke, okay. I was like, this is not going to work for very long. Right. So I said, you need to figure something out. Find a hobby. So he said, fine. 
He's like, I'm going to start training people and selling firearms. Really? I said, okay, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Well, next thing you know, four years later. You're building this great big we facility. We are building a huge, amazing facility that's just going to knock everyone's socks off. We're super excited about it. Wow. And um, I have to say that if you put Ron and I in a competition of who's the better teacher, I don't wow. know. You're it's, both it's, a, it's a tight race. Right. <laughs> but I would also think you teach differently. Completely and that's where I see it complementing. Your customers yes. all win. I, you yes. might have a husband and wife, and the wife may learn a certain way, and the husband Absolutely. may learn a different way. And um, I think Which it's is, nice. Yeah, that's the beauty of like our team that we have. Um, like we have amazing staff, and uh, we're super excited. Just you know, just to have the family atmosphere. Right. In our well, facility. I think it's wonderful, and I think it's good that you're involved with them. And um, I'm excited for you both. I mean, in a time when the world is all topsy turvy and everything. You know, you've took a position. We want people to understand guns are a safe thing to yeah. own, and everybody should have the right to feel safe. Absolutely. You know, yeah. so how do people get, get a hold of you all? Um, you guys can just go ahead and call the shop. Okay. Don't ask me what the number is. Okay. I never, Google I it. never call it. Okay. <laughs> you can find us on Facebook. You can right. also just go ahead and Google us. And, and uh, you're selling memberships now. We are. Yes. Is there a limit? I mean, like, are you about out or is no, there more? No, um, okay. but, you know, you got to get them soon because okay. we don't know what we're going to do. You if snooze, you number. lose. That's right. You snooze, you lose. So what do you think of this show? You, you've you been actually coming uh, for two or three I've weeks. I've been coming. I think it's fabulous. Okay. So I'm completely honored to be a guest today. Well, we're honored to have you. I was a little nervous. You. <laughs> um, I, I told Ron, I said, I'm not very educated, but she's... You know, you've obviously graduated from something, so. <laughs> um, but Ron's great on the radio and on TV. Oh, I hear I him all the time. I'm I never, know. He's the smartest guy in the room, he tells me all the time. And no, then we go places, kidding. and they're like, oh, I've heard you on the radio. Right. I'm like, Well, now oh, they've heard geez. you. Now they've heard yeah. you. Hopefully. So, My voice right. isn't completely back yet, so I apologize for that. All right. And that was from coaching lacrosse? No, I think I just, I think I was just worn down from okay. officiating game after game after game. Right. Yeah, I right. did about 56 games this last oh, three months. Just 56? <laughs> wow, well, very good. All right, anything yeah. you want to say in closing? Um, I don't think so. Uh, my husband's wonderful, so All I just right. need to make sure I put that plug in there. <laughs> <laughs> Does he keep the grass cut? He does. He okay. Does. It's All actually right. the job I like to do, but he's really? like taking it over the last couple of times. And All right. I was like, well, if you ever get bored, I got a place in Bridgeville that the grass is always growing. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of weed whacking, too. What do you think of the crowd here? Isn't it kind of um, cool? It is amazing. Every table is taken. Yep. I think if someone comes in, they're actually going to have to share a table with us. Well, Because I don't be good. see an, an empty table out there. Yep. So it is amazing. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah. So um, we're going to be here for six months minimum. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. then I'm going to leave you, okay? All right. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much. I Jennifer Hagen. There she goes. <laughs> and she confirmed it. Ron is the smartest guy sometimes. She do good, Ron? All right. No problem. So anyway, I just want to tell you, man, the crowd is a building. I see Lee Murphy showed up, and uh, we're going to chit-chat with him in a little bit. I want to do a segment for uh, uh, Wilson's auction for sure. My goodness, get ready. Listen to this. There's a lot going on at Wilson's auction in Lincoln. So starting today at 9 o'clock, not 10 o'clock today, 9 o'clock today, huge auction multi-estate auction where is it saturday may 28th i got my notes all right here everybody so i just want to tell you that i'm um, starting at nine o'clock today there is all kinds of things there's some antique tractors and equipment um there is a uh some furniture there's glassware there's collectibles there's a uh, framed art jewelry antique tractors equipment horse trailer horse drawn vehicles uh tack tools lawn and garden and more Thousands of items are going to be sold today, today, May 28th, 2022. All right, starting at 9 o'clock this morning. Now, tomorrow, there is a preview for the annual Memorial Day sale. So tomorrow at the Red Barn at Wilson's, you can stop by. I don't know exactly what time. The preview is Sunday from 11 to 4. So tomorrow, you can go to the Red Building 
at Wilson's and preview what's going to be sold on Monday, Memorial Day, their annual Memorial Day event. Look at the tags they've got for sale. They're all listed there. I get this brochure in the mail. It's nice in color. There's vehicles. There's antiques. And it all starts at 9 o'clock in the morning. I think something's even happening at 8.30 if you want to uh, show up for that. Something special is going to happen. But this is their 50th anniversary. Dave Wilson has been in business. Actually, it's his 51st anniversary, but they're calling it his 50th because we don't count last year because of COVID. In other words, uh, uh, everything got shut down. So it's his 50th anniversary. Um, so anyway, I just want to let you know, Dave Wilson's a good man. He's been a friend of mine for years when I owned the tire business in Lincoln. He was a great customer. Um, uh, he's actually my state senator. Um, he's just a good all-around guy, okay? Uh, you can go by at 4 or 5 in the morning. He's out there working. You can go by there at 9 or 10 o'clock at night, and he's working. He's everywhere. He does fundraiser auctions. He does like 40 or 50 fundraiser auctions a year. Gives up his time to help other organizations. So just an all-around good guy. So if you go to Wilson's today or you go to Wilson's tomorrow, or you go to Wilson's Monday, tell Dave that you heard about it from Jim Weller. I consider him a dear friend and a good man in our community. You're going to have a lot of fun. I'll be there Monday for sure for the tags. I think Denise is there now checking out what's going on today. We love to buy things at auction. Wilson'sAuction.com. Like them on Facebook. Any questions, the phone number is 302 422 3454. Dial it in that order if you have a question, wilsonsauction.com. There's plenty of pictures there, and they're very active on Facebook. Real quick, I want to say that I want to give away some gift cards to Vanderwins. So as fast as you can call me, I want you to call me, 422-7336. We're going to give you a four-pack. We're going to give you four gift cards to Vanderwins. because it's a, it's, a, it's a weekend. We want you to be loaded up with ice cream gift cards. Four Vanderwins. Call right now, 422-7336. 422-7336. 302-422-7336. If you want four gift cards to Vanderwins, call me right now. I'll put your name on the list, and you can pick them up next week, Tuesday through Saturday, which means you can't use them this weekend. Sorry about that, but it sounded good. It sounded good as I was leading up to it, all right? So you caught me there, folks. But it's all in about how it sounds, okay? So um, anyway, 422-7336. I hear the phone ringing. Caller, are you there? Yes. And who am I speaking to? Terry. Um, say it one more time. Terry. Jerry? Terry, T. T. Terry, how you doing? All, all right. right. How about you? Now, you didn't call earlier. You're not the other Terry from Seaford, right? No, I'm Terry from Dover. Dover, all right. Well, have you heard of Vanderwins before? I, I, absolutely. I'm born and raised in Delaware. Who has it? Who has it? So, all right. So, four gift cards for you. I'll set them aside at Weller's next week, Tuesday through Saturday. All right? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Terry. Have a good weekend. You too, sir. All right. I heard another call. Caller, when you call, realize I'm too cheap to have two phone lines. Plus, I couldn't answer them both. All right? That's the other thing. So, anyway, you just got to hang up and call right back. 422-7336. Four gift cards to Vanderwins. Is Kevin leaving? Oh, he's going to the restroom. He doesn't like people to know that, though. <laughs> all right, everybody, this is real radio, folks, okay? That was not scripted, all right? There's no way I would have known that in advance. All right, so anyway, what's going on? 422-7336. Guada, are you excited about the pillow? Okay, she's excited about the pillow. All right, so anyway, um, what else is going on? Um, Josh McNeil. I'll talk about him in a little while. I see we're going to take a break from the radio. So uh, let's take this phone call real quick. Caller, are you there? Hey, Jerry, Tom Bates Ice Cream. Is this Sam? It's Sam. And this is, um, is this Helen's better half? It's Helen's other half. Other half, okay. All right, not the better half, but the other half. All right, well, Sam, I'll set you four gift cards aside. You got to pick them up next week, Tuesday through Saturday, okay? Okay, I'll be there. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Bye. That was Sam Wilson, everybody. All right, so Colin Walls. We're taking a break from the radio. Switch over to TV Delmarva right now. I thought we were off the radio already. Were we? I don't know. I don't know. No, I just Now we are music. for sure. Yeah, now I don't know. know. For sure. I couldn't hear. It's, right. it's getting loud in All here. All I know is Kevin went to the restroom. 
<laughs> We're gonna have to ask some of these people to leave. It's getting too loud in here, right? Can you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyway, it's been a good morning here. It it's has getting been a good better. Morning. Yeah, yeah. Busy, busy. All so right. people waiting. Uh, not waiting, but you know, somebody up there. They're right. placing a to-go order. I don't know who like. the lady is yeah. on the end of the table with the blonde hair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Pat's wait. here. Okay. Well, good. All right. All right. I didn't know she was here. That's all. I oh, okay. Oh, she's got her back been... turned, so you can't Correct. tell. Right. Okay. Right. Just say you know Pat. <laughs> right. I know Pat, and then okay. I, there's two other gentlemen on there's, the other end. And I there's don't another know. Pat over there. And is that Oscar? That is Oscar. Yeah. Okay. Oscar's not here, to, or I mean uh, Oliver. Oliver. See, I got <laughs> you messed up. Now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. So anyway, uh, so else? good morning. Yeah, it's a good morning here at Beaches. Are you having fun here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You think this is well, a good I've been, fit? I've been talking to Kevin Short for the last half hour, so of course I'm having fun. Have you been talking to Kevin or listening to Kevin? Well, I've been allowing him to talk to me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Imparting right. his knowledge on me. So his now wealth of wisdom. We're, he went to the movies last night. Yes, he did. So All right. I didn't even ask him what movie he saw. Oh, it was something uptown. Abbey or Downtown Abbey or Downton Abbey? Downton Abbey. I was not close. downtown. Uptown, uptown. <laughs> Downton. Down, Downton Abbey. It's okay. a movie. I guess he really? went. Okay. He left his keys. He lost All his right. keys in his seat. Well, I, I still got his wallet. I heard about the seats and I heard about the popcorn and all that stuff. I didn't hear about the movie, so, right. must have, so the seats must have been better than the movie. I guess my daughter went to see Top Gun Thursday night. Okay, yeah. It was some kind of a before normal show or something like that. Yeah, I drove by there last night. Uh, on the way back from Dover, and there was a lot of cars there, so there was. something popular is playing. Right. Yeah. All right. It was, all right. All right. So, have you had any phone calls or text messages yet today? Uh, you know what? My phone's over there. I haven't even looked. I, I have an item that you should give away to every customer that buys advertising. Oh, really? Yes. A, a pillow? No, those loofus <laughs> things. Oh, the loofah. The loofah. Okay. I didn't buy them. You should buy them as a giveaway. <laughs> I'm going to pass on that. There's hundreds of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stick with the TV Del Mar keychains. <laughs> you do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so, we'll give those away. It's a noisy bunch in here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that just means that it's busy and, you know, things are happening. And Is everybody getting food? Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Getting food, Ron coffee, Hagen's drinks. doing a good job, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's done eating already. Look at him. Yep. Well, he's always an overachiever. <laughs> Nobody can eat faster than <laughs> That's Ron. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, so, like but it's been a time. great morning here, and I mean, just the things that Kevin Short knows is oh, it's I can't. I vast. mean, the things he's forgot is amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, and he's he's just sitting there, brain. Uh, yeah, what's he talking? Yeah, we're about? talking about all the stuff he forgot. Mm -hmm. All right. So well, he lost his keys at the movies, but he forgot he lost his wallet at lunch with me the other day. Well, he's had a key problem over the last week. Yeah. Uh, because last week he called me and a key, he was down to uh, Ocean City. He wasn't, yeah. but his truck and a key broke off and he could not find anybody to come out and make a key for him. And that's they said, we're not bonded for that. Right. Uh, a key company. Right. A place that makes keys says they couldn't make keys. Isn't that crazy? Because they're not bonded. So yeah, it is. I, I had no idea. No idea. Yeah. The struggle is real. You thought it was just COVID and high prices again. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> now it's getting a key it's made. It's keys, yeah. Yeah. So, But all anyway, right. he got it all taken care of. So they've he got did. a key that will fit anything now. I think they used a screwdriver. Yeah, that's, that's called the master key. <laughs> that's the master key. <laughs> yes. Ah, yep. You know. Yep. Brute force. Brute force. So, yeah. But anyway, um, uh, TV Del Marva, if you want to advertise on TV Del Marva, or if you just want to know how to watch TV Del Marva, Go to tvdelmarva.com, and you can uh, click on the up top. If you look, it says how to watch. It tells okay. all the different ways you can watch tvdelmarva.com. I mean, are you saying it shows you sitting postures? Like <laughs> yes. this way? Yes, or yes. You laying lean, down, lean in standing if you're up. really paying attention. Yeah, you can lay on your left side or your right side. Okay. Yeah. Because I so, notice, depending on what I'm watching, I do sit differently. Uh-huh, yes. In other words, you know, yes. I find if it's like real suspenseful, well, it's like I sit This show's got you right seat. on the edge of your seat. Yeah. Right. So, and then the dog jumps up behind me. <laughs> Thought I was opening up a space. Yeah, that's... So, you don't have any dogs or cats, do you? Uh, no. No, I like to keep it that way. Do you really? Yeah, I, just right. don't, I don't have time for them. Okay. I got nothing against them. Okay. And uh, the kind of dog you have is my favorite. What's that? Yeah, somebody else's. <laughs> it's my favorite kind. That's yeah, what I say to people when I see their dog. I say, that's my favorite kind of dog. Somebody else's. Somebody else's, yes. All right. But um, All right. TV Del Marva. So how to watch TV Del Marva. Point your antenna towards Seaford. Right. Rescan. Look for Channel 14. Or 
tvdelmarva.com. You can click on Watch Now or Watch Live. I think it says up top there. You can watch all of our channels right there. Or if you've got a Roku device, right. you can search just you know just like you would for Netflix or any of the search other channels. The channel. Search on your Roku for TV Delmarva, and our app or our channel will come up there, and you can watch us right there. All right. It's exciting, folks. It is. It's very exciting. We've had a lot of phone calls today. We have, yeah. I had some on the other line, too. In other words. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. So, very good. Um, it's been good. That was good. for, I forgot what that was even for. Is that Clayton, for Clayton, Clayton, Clayton Theater, Theater tickets. tickets, yes. I got too many things to give away. It's amazing. In other you words, do, you know? yeah. So. Um, you need to start another show just for giveaways. Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. All right. I'm going to let you go, Jim. All right. We're going back on That's the radio. That's my last segment. Oh. Oh, you're done for the... I'm done for you're the day, You're done I guess. for the month. You're done for the whole month. Oh, the whole month. I gotta... won't even be back till next month. Okay. Well, I'll be back next month then. All right. All see, right, you, see you, Colin. Yep. We are done with May. This is our last show in May, everybody. All right. You're going to tell me when it's time to prep. If there's anybody listening right now and you want a $25 gift card to Wawa, I need you to call right now. 302-422-7336. A $25 gift card to Wawa. We're giving away one gift card. Call me right now. I hear the music. We're back on the radio. We're back on the radio. All right. To my radio audience, we're in the final half hour of the last show I'm going to do in May. This is the last show in May. Is that a caller for a Wawa gift card? Caller, are you there? Yes, I am. And who am I speaking to? David Melvin. David, how you doing? Uh, sir, how are you? Good. And um, we would like to encourage you to come see us someday. We're over here I'll in Seaford. Not, we're not in Seaford. We're in, where are we? We're in Milton. Oh, you're coming to Bridgeville on Tuesday. Okay. And yes. you're calling about the pillow or did you want the gift card to Wawa? Wawa. Wawa. All right. And what are you going to do with a gift card to Wawa? Get a lot of cappuccino. A lot of cappuccino. Okay. All right, well, David, I'm going to set it aside for you, and you can pick it up then. you watch it on TV, is that correct? Yes, sir. Well, we appreciate your support of TV Delmarva, Channel 14. Watch it every week. Well, thanks a lot, okay? The one thing I miss is not seeing Denise every once in a while. I can't afford her. I can't oh, afford her. okay. I already have well, to house her and feed her, and now I have to pay her to be on the show. No, I'm there just you kidding. go. <laughs> She's too busy. She's too busy. She's... I can guarantee okay. you she's probably at Wilson's auction right now checking out what's yeah, going on. What I heard. All right. Trying to buy something. Yep. Well, David, take care, okay? Thank you, and talk to you soon. All right. Have a good, safe weekend, my friend. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. I'm going to do a couple commercials real quick. Then we're going to chat with Lee Murphy. Uh, just to make Linda happy, we'll do the picture right now because I know, I know how she can be. All right. All right, she could be testy, Jim says. I didn't say that, Jim said. No, I didn't say it. Nobody said it. Linda's a saint. Josh McNeil, let's talk about Blacktop real quick, okay? Josh McNeil does paving. He's been in business now a long time. His father started the business. He took it over. Now his sons are working with him. His grandsons are working with him. Great organization. So if you need a new Blacktop driveway, let's get your name on the list, okay? Starts with a phone call. You give him a call. He'll come out. He'll do an estimate, tell you what you're looking at, and uh, get you on the list. So let's get that done. It's been raining so much lately that everybody has gotten behind, okay? So let's get you scheduled with Josh McNeil. If you don't want a blacktop driveway, you can do tar and chip, okay? And then that gives you a good base for when you finally do blacktop your driveway. So if you got cracks or you got a problem, you got a hole you need it taken care of, if you need anything done with your driveway, Josh McNeil can help you out. Mainly blacktop work, that's what he likes to do, but he also could do crushed concrete or millings and, you know, make that uh, muddy driveway less than a muddy driveway, all right? So it's Josh McNeil, McNeil's Pavement. I like giving out his cell phone number, okay? Because I want people to call him on Saturday and say hello. And uh, thank you for sponsoring the show. This dude has been sponsoring the show for a long time. Josh McNeil, if you're listening, good morning, my friend. 302 745 0021. That's 745 0021. Josh McNeil, McNeil's Paving. Check him out if you would, okay? 
Um, what else was I going to say? I was going to say the Vanderwins gift cards. We gave out some of those four gift cards to Vanderwins. We appreciate the people that called for those. So if you ever need ice cream, you want ice cream, go to Vanderwins. They got four locations. Uh, you can get a cone, a quart, a pint, or a cup. Um, take some home, give some out, um, whatever you want in the world of ice cream or milkshakes or whatever. Now, let's chat with Lee Murphy for a few minutes and um, get him get him dialed in here. So, Lee, how are you today? Jim, it's good to be here. What do you think of this place? I, I love the enthusiasm here. I, I went around and uh, met the folks here, and uh, uh, the energy here is... Uh, Pretty good. It's great. I love, I love it here. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to work on my energy level next. Okay. So, <laughs> so how are you doing? It, it couldn't be better, Jim. Uh, you know, our, our campaign, as you know, I'm up and down the state. You are that. You know, after this interview, I got to go back to Newcastle County. Uh, I have to throw out the first ball at a big, big uh, oh, softball really? tur tournament wow. up in uh, up in Wilmington. But right. uh, well, good. yeah, yeah, it's you know, th this is uh, this is an important time. It's yep. an important time. So, tell people who you are and exactly what you're running for. Lee Murphy, for those of you who don't know me. I am running as a Republican candidate for the United States Congress, and I want to represent you in Washington, D.C. And you, um, you seem extremely committed to this position. In other words, I'm watching you campaign, you are focused, you are listening to people, and you want to be the voice of the people. I want to be the voice of the people. Jim, as you know, we ran in 2020, mm -hmm. and we got 197,000 votes statewide. Uh, that's pretty good. We won the machine ballots, uh, and we had mail-in ballots, COVID, and Joe Biden at the top of the ticket. Right. right. This year, we do not have mail-in ballots. Right. We need to flip about ten to twenty thousand voters to win this election. Wow. I, I feel very confident. It sounds like it's very doable. That we can do it. Yep. Yes. GoMurf.com. Is that the website? GoMurf.com. I don't know why I do it with my hand, but it's like GoMurf. GoMurf.com. That's right. Go you got it right. Go and um, what on Facebook? Just uh, Lee Murphy? or Lee Murphy 2022. 2022. All right. What if somebody wants to get involved? Do you need any helpers? You know, we always need help. Okay. And we need help in many ways, whether it's addressing envelopes, going door to door. Okay. And most importantly, we need donations to help fund our campaign. Okay. Campaigns are great, but they need money to run to on. Keep it moving. Yeah. It's just like a business. Right. Well, it's like anything in your life, anybody's life. Yeah. It, it takes money to keep it all moving. So people can donate? People can donate at gomurf.com. Okay. And uh, much appreciated. Or go to gomurf.com and, and volunteer. Okay. All right. You have a couple events coming up. We have a couple of events coming up in uh, Newcastle County. Uh, on June 9th, we have a great event. It's really themed around uh, law enforcement in our democracy. Uh, Sheriff Michael Lewis. You will know be him? Have you met I know him, him personally. Okay. okay. G a great guy. Yep. Uh, he will be our guest speaker okay. on uh, June 9th in Wilmington. But for the folks down here in Sussex County, we will be having uh, fundraisers down here in the very near future. Okay. We, get, we, we have to cover the whole state, Jim. I agree you do. Yeah. I agree you do. Well, that's good. Well, um, our audience is everywhere, so who knows uh, who might end up where. So a lot going on. You need help. Anyway, anybody wants to help, you're open-minded. I will. Yes, I'm very open-minded. Very yeah. open-minded. So yes. um, I, um, I always thought what would be a good job for me. I don't have the time for this, but I'd love to be somebody's driver. I can see you me know, driving them. You I'm know, Jimmy. You, you, know. <laughs> you mentioned that earlier, and but, I drive. I I have two hundred and forty five thousand miles in my car. Wow! <laughs> and I am up and down the state all right. the time. I, I mean, I I just thought you got to be tired, not just you, but and I if anybody wants to donate their services as my driver, that would free up a lot of time for me to do work. Right. You know, make phone calls, but. Part of the driving is it gives me a little respite from right. campaigning too. Right. It's, True. it's a it's a Different peaceful focus. time driving up and down our beautiful state. Yep. But I just was thinking about that. I don't yeah. have I'm not volunteering for anything right now. But <laughs> 
I just across my mind. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So somebody's out there. I know somebody's out there. Well, I have a friend of mine who's a pastor, and uh, he travels a lot. He has to get to the airport to fly places and stuff. And he has a driver, and he said it makes all the difference in the world. And a friend of mine just posted a picture of this big van he bought. He's in. He's built an office in the van, and he's got a driver. Wow. And I was thinking that is kind of cool. That is. That is kind of cool. You know. You know, I, I would love to have a van. Or some candidates have a, a bus. Right. And just go statewide in that bus, do work in the bus. Yeah. And then get out, be fresh. Yeah. Campaign wherever I am. Yep. I would too. I could comb my hair. I could be ready when I get out. <laughs> well, I appreciate you even wanting to do this. In other words, you seem very committed. You seem very knowledgeable, um, very personable. You, you strike me as a person that when elected, you're going to be approachable. You're going to be involved with the people. You're not going to just go hibernate somewhere, in other words. And I, I'm, I'm very excited for you. And I really, you know, I, I, I've just noticed your enthusiasm and, and just talking to people. You talk to everybody. And um, I think that's good. That's what it's about. One thing I like about campaigning, Jim, is, you know, you meet so many wonderful people. Right. And uh, I like people. And anybody running for Congress uh, should like people. Right. And want to right. be out with the people. Unfortunately, our current Congress woman uh she's not that visible not that accessible and you're right when I, when i'm elected i'll be on your show I'll, I'll be down there on friday mornings at the lewis diner okay. I'll, I'll be out with the people and uh, i'm going to represent the interests of the people of delaware right i, I i'm not i'm not going to be a rubber stamp for the president or or nancy pelosi right we need somebody to represent the people in this room Right, because we yeah we, we really need you. do. We need you, Lee. I I, we I need you. I, I want to do this. Heck, somebody asked me the other day if I was going to be a lifetime politician. Heck, I'm a grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 doing this largely for for their future right. and the grandchildren of everybody in this room. I mean, we yeah. we got to we got to right the ship. We got to turn it around. We have to work together somehow uh, to get things done in this country. Well, I'm going to let you go on that note. Is that okay? Okay. I, I, I came down here for ice cream, but... Oh, uh, I got gift I, cards. No, no. I, I don't have ice cream, but I got gift cards. I, I still have a dozen in my console. Oh, in the car. All right. <laughs> but, Jim, All right. I, I have a collector's item for you. These are okay. these are the Lee Murphy metal uh, pins. Really? We have a limited number. I usually auction these off for at least $10 a piece. Really? But I want to give you this pin. Give me my um, little thing out of that bag, please. My, my zippered up notepad. I want you to autograph this one for me. I've got a um, thing in there. So I, hold tight. Don't okay. go nowhere. Okay. Just bring. give me that little um, notebook. I'm going to get my Sharpie pen out. I want Lee Murphy to autograph this. Here we go. Just give me that. Thank you very much. She has no idea what I'm going to ask for. She does a great job. Her name <laughs> is Tracy. Don't go nowhere, Lee. Uh, I'm you got sitting. me thinking. I'm going to make this more valuable with an autograph. Okay. So just autograph that thing for me. On the front or the back? On the front. There we go. This is going to be the only autographed Lee Murphy button. All right. Maybe put the year. 2022, everybody. It's the year. All right. So anyway, Lee Murphy. Go Murph.com. Thank you. Thank you very much all right do you have any hundred dollar bills on you uh i have a couple of 50s well you want to autograph a couple of them for me <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the grandkids are expecting those oh, okay no i'm just messing with you lee <laughs> thanks a lot okay have a good safe weekend you too jim all thank right, you very ya. much bye-bye bye-bye all right there he goes lee murphy here we go i got my own button autographed i think it's the only one around i'm gonna get a ron hagan button one of these days all right what is going on i gotta catch up now i got a lot to do here you can get pat murphy over pat murphy what's her name pat campbell white paging pat campbell white all right jerry's lawn care you saw his tv commercials earlier this is a sponsor segment okay so he is a good friend of mine and a good sponsor of the show so if you need any uh, mulch if you need any lots cleared if you need any um, stumps ground up or dug up, if you need an irrigation system, pavers, landscaping, whatever you may need, his name is Jerry Santoro, 
It's Jerry's Lawn Care. His Facebook page is Jerry's Land Clearing. Pretty simple. Jerry's Land Clearing. Mulch, $20 a yard. It doesn't mean the entire yard is only $20. So many people get confused with that. It's like a cubic yard. $20 a yard for the mulch is how much it is, okay? And you can pick it up from him in Greenwood or you can have it delivered. I don't know what that costs. Anyway, firewood also. Lots of different things. Stump grinding, removal of old rotten trees, lot clearing. He's a good guy. All right, Lee Murphy is leaving now, okay? Goodbye, Lee. Boom, there he is. He'll be up there, folks. All right, so anyway, Jerry Santoro, Jerry's Lawn Care. Check him out, 302-363-6025, JLC-LLC.com. All right, Linda is ready to take a picture. This is uh, Pat Campbell White. Good morning, young lady. Good morning. We ready? We're ready. All right, she's sporting a new hairdo and a nice necklace. What's going on here today? Well, I just drove through beautiful downtown Milton. I was so excited to be here with you this morning. I well, missed you. What do you think it's, of the energy in the room? I love it. This is, place is absolutely awesome. We could have and, an Amway meeting next. Uh, well, you know it. You know it. Well, um, <laughs> That would dull the mood. Driving through, driving through downtown Milton, two quick observations. The flea market or the farmer's market, that place is busy. It's a wonderful place to be. And I never realized till today how beautiful the front of the Milton Fire Department is. Well, they've added a big addition. They, it's got this beautiful little landscape garden with yeah. this Dalmatian sitting in it. It's probably the most valuable property in downtown Milton overlooking the canal. Yeah. And when that sewer plant gets out of there, it'll really be a valuable <laughs> piece of property. But well. anyway, the one observation that I wanted to share today other than congratulations on your new venue well, thank don you. allen is an absolutely tremendous man i love really? love his energy and what he's done here yep that is this afternoon at uh, probably about noon okay. american legion post five in downtown rehoboth okay. is doing a chicken barbecue oh to oh. benefit the veterans so okay. you get half a chicken two sides and i can't even tell you how much money they charge for it because i okay. forget but, but it's it's priceless where is it again? Downtown Rehoboth, right across from the Catholic Church. It's really? on it's on King Charles Avenue. When you okay. get to the first street light where the candy kitchen is on right. the corner, hang a right, go south, yep. and you'll go past Wilmington, Delaware, Philadelphia, and it's on the corner of Philadelphia and Laurel okay. on King Charles, right in the almost basically ocean block. Okay. There's this little teeny tiny building. You won't miss the Starting chicken barbecue. Time. Um, they'll probably start pulling the chickens off the grill about noon. Okay. They, they've they so, been out there since 3.30 this morning. And they sell out quick. And they sell out. They, they stop when they, that's, that's why I was making 40 pounds of coleslaw yesterday. Really? For so um, volunteers make a lot of wonderful sides to go with it. And um, the uh, and I think it was Mountaineer, if I got the wrong poultry company, I'm okay. going to get slapped for that. It was a chicken company. Donated the chickens. Okay. Yeah, this is a chicken company. Right. Uh, donated the chickens. So that's what's going on in Rehoboth, and thanks for letting me share that. All right. And it's so great to see you. Well, good. It's good to see you. I do have to let you go. I'm, I'm done. I'm glad you came, okay? Thank you very have a much. Have safe weekend. All you right? have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. Bye Pat Campbell White, good lady, good realtor, good community servant, just an all-around good gal. All right, real quick, Chick-fil-A. You hear me talk about Chick-fil-A every week. Thank you to Chick-fil-A for sponsoring things and being part of the show. We're going to give away two Chick-fil-A gift cards right now, two of them. But we're going to give you a special phone number, not that one, 302-751-5001. You just call it. It's going to be an answering machine, and it's going to. And you got to tell me what you want. It's like your wish list. So what do you wish I would give you? But it's if you want two Chick-fil-A gift cards, dial 302-751-5001. Leave your name and say, Jim, I'd like two gift cards to Chick-fil-A. I'll set them aside at Weller's in Bridgeville. You can pick them up next week, Tuesday through Saturday. Why can't you pick them up on Monday? Because we're closed on Mondays. We just take the day off. We're too lazy to work six days a week any longer. So anyway, that's what's up with Weller's. People say, why are you not open on Mondays? We just don't feel like it, folks. So anyway, uh, we just started closing. It worked out better for us. And that's kind of how it is. So with that said, you want two gift cards to Chick-fil-A? Call 302-751-5001. Chick-fil-A is a great place to eat. I ate there yesterday. I ate at the one in Milford. I love the service. I love the food no matter where I go. Real quick plug for a lawnmower repair facility in Ellendale. 
It's called Curlin's. Dale Curlin services my mowers and uh, weed whackers and uh, chainsaws and things like that. So if you need a new mower or, you know, chainsaw or whatever, he sells them. Um, but also weed eaters, things like that. But he also works on these things. He's a good guy. He's honest and he's fair. He does local service. He, he can pick up and deliver. So he's right downtown Allendale. It's called Curlin's, K-I-R. L-I-N-S, mower and golf cart shop. He also services my golf cart once a year. So anyway, 302-503-3048. 302-503-3048. And uh, you can check him out there in Allendale. Dale, thank you for doing such a good job for me on my stuff. Lee Murphy has been on. J&J Power Washing, another good sponsor of the show. If you need some power washing done, whether it's a deck, whether it's your home, whether it's your trailer, whether it's equipment, whether you... um. I want all the concrete around your pool looking like new, your patio, your pavers, your sidewalk. If you got a concrete driveway, they can spruce it up. Great company to deal with. First of all, when you call Zach, he comes out. He gives you an on-site you know, evaluation. He doesn't guess at it or look at Google Earth or anything like that. He looks at it, tells you what you need done. You want your gutters clean. What do you need done? So then he comes out. He tells you what it's going to be. He sends you a written estimate tells you what he's going to do and how he's going to do it. Then he tells you when they're coming and they arrive that day on time. So anyway, the trucks are lettered. He's, he's licensed. He's insured. He's got three different crews. He is a professional in the power washing business. Been doing it now over 26 years. I love dealing with him. I'm very happy. I've never dealt with anybody this good, this precise, this particular in the power washing field. I've been very, very happy with all the jobs I've had done. So what's his number? It's 302 934 55 55 934 5555. Check him out. It's J and J Power Washing on the web and J and J Power Washing on the Facebook. All right. So if you need a job done, you give him a call. He'll do a good job for you. I want everybody to realize I appreciate you watching this show. I got many people watching, many people listening. I got people on the radio, people on TV, people on Facebook, people on YouTube, and people on the dot com. Thanks a lot. I don't take it for granted. I appreciate you. All the people that help make the show happen. I've got Colin and I've got Hunter. I've got Jonathan. I'm missing Colin the second. That's who I'm missing a little bit. He's on a sabbatical. He's just taking off for a little while. And then I've got Tracy and I've got Linda and I've got Jackie who all week long puts it all together. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. And all this audience here. In other words, we've got a whole what is there 40 plus people here so thanks for everybody that stops in and thank you for tuning in one last sponsor segment and it is my chiropractor his name is dr t people know that he and i are good friends i'm good friends with all my advertisers because i deal with them i'm not going to hook you up with anybody i wouldn't deal with okay so they're all good people so if you need chiropractic care dr t and dr bud at peninsula chiropractic center can help you out whether you're an adult whether you're a child whether your kids are playing sports and they got something just not uh, uh, moving just right or feeling just right whether it's your shoulder or your elbow your hand your wrist your back your neck or whatever they can help you out or they could tell you straight up chiropractic care isn't what you need so anyway it's peninsula chiropractic center they accept most insurances uh it's peninsula chirocenter.com on the web like them on Facebook, very active there. And their phone number, are you ready? It's 302-629-4344, 629-4344. I do want to say Weller's is open. We are going to be busy. Uh, we are having a big sale, biggest sale I've had in years. So if you priced the trailer just a week ago, it's going to be cheaper now. I need to move some inventory. I have so much coming at me. It's unbelievable. I want to give you a break. The price of gas is through the roof. People are going crazy. It's just hard on everybody. So if you need a trailer, I'm going to make it a little easier on you by lowering the price. All new trailers are on sale at Weller's in Bridgeville. All right. Have a safe Memorial Day. Uh, remember, you know, we're honoring, you know, people that uh, have lost their lives in, in, you know, protecting us, making us free and so on. So we appreciate them and uh, for all the people that have served, you know, and are serving. We appreciate all of you. Uh, with that said, I think I've got time for one more phone call. One more gift card to Wawa, a $25 gift card donated by Don Allen, owner-operator of Beaches. If you want it, call me right now, 422-7336. One gift card, $25 gift card to Wawa. One, two, three, four. I got five of them, right? One card left. If you don't win it today, I'll be forced to use it this afternoon. 
302-422-7336. If you want a gift card for free, you have to call me right this minute at 422-7336, and I will put your name on the list. You pick it up at Wellers in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday, okay? So other than that, Wellers is open. Uh, we're here for you, whether you need a Amish-made you know, shed. We've got tons of them in stock. We have uh, carports. We have uh, Amish-made vinyl swing sets. We have chicken coops, dog kennels, horse run-ins. We've got trailers. Nobody's got more. Nobody sells more. Nobody buys more. So, is that the phone? Oh, my goodness. Caller, are you there? Yes, I'm here. And who am I talking to? My name is Stacy Vent, and I'm calling about the free Wawa gift card. Stacy, and what was the last name? Vent. V-E-N-T? Yes. All right, and uh, I'm sorry you've you've missed it. You've waited too long to call. I'm right here. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm going to set it aside for you at Weller's, and you can pick it up Tuesday through Saturday next week. Okay. All right. All right thank thank you. you. See you. Bye. Bye. She's here, but I have to make her go to Weller's. Otherwise, I get in trouble with the legal team. All right. So anyway, that's that. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. Have a safe weekend. Be kind and courteous. We're going to be full of visitors. Be kind. They're visitors. Okay. They're like company. All right. See y'all. Take care. Bye. All right. 20 seconds left. This is your last chance to take advantage of the opportunity to call Colin Walls. If you've never talked to Colin Walls in your life, he's a wealth of information. He's almost as smart as Kevin Short. All right. 302-242-8015. We're about out of time. Thanks for watching TV Delmarva. Have a good weekend. Goodbye, everybody.